Hello, hello everybody. We are going to be continuing. Oh wait, I forgot. I'm a fool. I got ahead of myself there for a minute. Man. My brain is all over the place. Because my brain... I was like, oh, we need to get back to where we were so we can, like, start again. But then I forgot we're going to be doing a special episode. I'm a fool. But yes, hello, everybody. I'm Neon Icy Wings. <laughs> we're going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Expanded Sky playthrough. Once again, healthy, happy, healthy thank yous to the people who aided in the creation of the Expanded Sky ROM hack mod. As always... The link to the mod can be found in the description of the YouTube streams and YouTube videos. Just because they deserve the credit, it is good, it is nice. And yes, we are going to beginning with today's Oh My Gosh. I think for some reason I, like, was thinking it was called Today's Eek for some reason. I don't know why. My brain was in, in bad places. But... Either way, grab a hold of your tea or whatever of the beverage you might have, and let us begin today's Oh My Gosh. <laughs> Was the Curse Mountain fixed? Well, no, I, again, brain keeps getting in the way where I only think about, like, Hey, I should probably, like, leave a comment there to let him know that seems to be happening. And I only think of it when I'm doing my stream, because I'm a fool. And plus, it might take him a bit to actually ascertain what's wrong and then update it. But either way, today's Oh My Gosh. Let's get to know some Sunflora. One night at the guild. Is this going to be before Lost Light joined? Or is it after? Ah, she's with Chimico. Hey, Sunflora, look. The moon tonight is really pretty. Huh? Sunflora? What are you doing? Huh? You're riding something. Oh my gosh! Don't look! I'm so embarrassed! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! What? Oh, don't tell me. I know, you just started, started keeping a diary, right, Sunflora? Actually, just come to me that I don't know my partner's gender. Huh. Granted, in these games... It's most, it's pretty much cosmetic. I don't even think you get to choose your partner's gender. I think like in the Japanese version of Gates to Infinity you could, but then that was removed in the international release. Because Pokemon Company can be weird sometimes. Yep, to reflect on my day, I've decided to start keeping a diary from now on. I'm incredibly embarrassed about it. Anyway, I'll do my best to write in it. That's wonderful. Do your best, Sunflora. Don't worry, I promise not to sneak any peeks at it. Sneak a peek? That's not allowed, not at all! If, if someone sneaked a peek... Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Well, if it's only a little peek... Nope, no good! It's just no good! I'm too embarrassed, oh my gosh! She seems like <laughs> to have like a lot of energy. Special episode three, today's Oh My Gosh. I think it's opposite your gender. Hell if I know, though. Ain't that always how it is? <laughs> you never know. I'm Sunflora. I'm an apprentice at the... At, at the guild mass. Oh, two... Th My brain read the two as at because I am a fool. I'm an apprentice to the guild master. I really enjoy life here at the guild. I really like treasure, and training is really fun. Since I've joined the guild, my exploration ability has really grown. A few days ago, I received a call from the guild master. I was so nervous, I wondered what it would be about. When I went to the guild master's chamber to find out, Oh my gosh, I was praised. I've been doing really hard, but I've been working really hard and doing well on explorations. Oh my gosh, I was so happy. I was so happy, I thought I'd burst. But I didn't really have a lot of self-confidence yet, so I wanted to study more of the Guildmaster. Also, I really like the other apprentices in the guild. I enjoy being with them. Everyone is such a dear friend to me. 
Anyhow, being able to train at this guild makes me very happy. But about my friends, recently something troublesome happened. Hmm. Loudred! Hmm. <laughs> okay, give a mutual cold shoulder going on. Here's what's troublesome. I haven't been getting along with Loudred too well lately. And I've even gone on explorations with Loudred in the past. At the time, Loudred wouldn't listen to my warnings and ran straight into dungeons. And we were knocked out just like that. When I came to, I realized both of us had faded. I couldn't believe it. Don't you bring along Reviver Seeds? Then again, I guess Reviver Seeds are maybe a bit expensive, but... I don't know, you can find them in low-level dungeons. Since then, Loudred and I have not been able to see eye to eye. It's a little troublesome. But it's all Loudred's fault. After his terrible behavior, Loudred hasn't even apologized. I won't forgive that. I, I'm, I'm partly forgetting what Sunflora's voice was like. Because <laughs> um, now I have to do it consistently. I can't just quickly change to it without thinking. Sunflower. Oh, hi, Charot. I've been looking for you. There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Please come with me. Discuss? Gosh, I wonder what it could be. It's kind of like feminine, uh, shaggy. Huh? Officer Magnuson. Hello, Sunflora. Officer Magnuson has come here to ask a favor. A favor? Not that right. The truth is, we've had some difficulty capturing an outlaw. We've tried everything, but we haven't been able to capture him. <laughs> okay, they... Interesting. Another unique animation of a character bringing out a piece of paper. This is the outlaw in question. His name is Haunter. He's an S-rank outlaw. I still don't quite understand the naming conventions in the Pokemon world. They're just their own species. What if you have two together? His alias is the Invincible Hunter. Invincible? That's right. It doesn't matter how many times you knock him out. He always gets right back up. Good as new. He must be invincible, that Hunter. That's why we haven't been able to catch him. An invincible Pokemon Hunter. That's why Officer Magnuson has come to ask the guild to send out one of our best explorers. The guildmaster has made a recommendation to the officer, Sunfloor. You're the recommendation. What? Me? Sunfloor, your abilities stand out above the rest of the apprentices. I have faith in you, too. I wonder if that means that we haven't gotten in just yet. Guildmaster, I... Oh my gosh, Guildmaster... However, there's no other Pokemon that can go with you. Everyone else is very busy with guild assignments, leaving only the newcomers. Uh, speaking of the newcomers... Oh, nope, never mind. We are here, but this is probably early in our career. Ah, we yeah, this is just after we went to Waterfall. Interesting. I do like getting a bit of timeline for everything. It's very nice. We already sent Team Lost Light out to explore the Waterfall, and Bidoof isn't experienced enough and could be too much of a burden. It's, it's all right, Chadot. I'll head out on my own. Yes, we don't like to burden you like this, but we're counting on you. Hunter has escaped to Spring Cave. According to Magnemite's report, he uh, just took refuge there. If you go now, I think you should be able to catch up to him without trouble. Spring Cave, huh? Got it! Okay, I'm on my way, Guildmaster. Just a moment. Yes? Spring Cave is close to the hot spring. That is, lava flows below it, so the likelihood that there are fire-type Pokemon is pretty high. One more thing. Hunter is a poison-type Pokemon. <laughs> are you talking about type matchup? Yes. I'm a grass-type Pokemon, so fire and poison-type attacks are very effective against me. I don't think there'll be... I don't think there will only be poorly matched Pokemon at Spring Cave, but it would be dangerous to fight without caution. 
Since it's you, Sunflora, I think you'll be all right. But I'm making sure, just in case. Yes, thank you very much. This is a request for the Guildmaster. I mustn't show any weakness. As long as I'm prepared, I'll be fine. It'll be an easy victory. Yep, do your best. Yep. Oh, so most po uh, partners are male, with the exception of Chikorita, Torchic, Vulpine, Eevee, and Skitty. Any? Interesting. I wonder why they just chose those ones specifically. Then again, I guess it kind of makes sense for Eevee, because that's also, like, a female locked in the personality quiz as well, so maybe it could be based kind of on that. But it's just kind of interesting how many of them are male locked for the partner. Yeah. I was nervous having been called out in the blue like that, but it was a request from the Guildmaster. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm representing the Guild on this, so I have to do my best. I have to do my best and apprehend Haunter. I should hurry and prepare so I can head out. The special episode today's Oh My Gosh stars Sunflora as the main character. You will progress through the story of Sunflora as the playable character. Do, do, do. Oh. Sunflora! <laughs> I like that yeah, they actually let you do that. The Guildmaster was looking for you earlier. <laughs> it was just after Officer Magnuson went in. Seems almost like official business. <laughs> I don't know what kind of job they'll give you, but don't fail. <laughs> I like that we can actually like, interact with characters. Ponita and I are great at using firebase attacks as you can imagine, but we leave swirling fire in our wake as we fight and that scares our leader. I think our leader has lost confidence because of this, but I don't know what we can do about it. Oh, hey, Bidoof. Oh! Oh, miss. Oh. What's going on, M miss? Uh, no. It's nothing. I was just whispering to myself, yip, yip. Anyhow, thanks for taking me along on that exploration the other day. You're great at exploring, Sunflora. I really respect you. Yep. R respect? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. You know, you were not so great in the beginning, Badoof. But look, you've learned how to fight and gotten better little by little. I'm so glad. Really? You mean it? Yeah. If you keep on working hard, you'll be a great explorer in no time. Do your best. Gosh, I'm so happy. I'm gonna go do my best to be an explorer. I like these. Oh, Sunflora, so Chad, I called you earlier to the Guildmaster's chamber. Something happening? Yeah, true of this officer Magnuson has come here to discuss a job. It seems like they want to entrust me with the job, so the Guildmaster has asked me to do it. Wow, does that mean that you've been selected as a guild representative? Sunflora, good luck! That reminds me, starting today, I've been assigned to a new job around the guild. Really? That's wonderful! Congratulations, Chimaco! Yeah, let's both work hard. Yeah! I like it, I like this. I want to quickly go and see if we can, like, look at our own diary. Our diary is here! Something is written here. This is Sunflora's diary. Should we sneak a peek? What a scream. Sunflora's Oh My Gosh Diary Entry 1. What a scream. Zero, zero, monks, month XX, day sunny. Oh my gosh, so glad to meet you. I'm Sunflora, an apprentice at the guild. Eek! But does this mean someone else is reading my diary besides me? Double eek! Is someone sneaking a peek? Oh my gosh, how horrifying. Eek! <laughs> That's kind of hilarious. Oh my gosh, that silly Loudred. Ooh, he could be so absent minded. Why did I suddenly become mildly Badoof there for a moment? Everyone knows that if you get totally wiped out in a dungeon, you lose some items and half your money. But of course, that silly Loudred forgets all that and goes storming off into that dungeon. And that wound up making us both wipe out, so I got sent back to the guild too. Eek, it's so frustrating. Oh my gosh, I never ever want to go to a dungeon with Loudred again. P.S. Two new kids joined the guild. I think they were called Silas and Neon. Oh my gosh, they're both adorable. Yippee! I like this. I like this a lot. 
Tomorrow I'll be off exploring with Bidoof. That Bidoof is sure to wander needlessly, so I should stock up on lots of food. Oh, why do we need lots of food? Well, as you move around in a dungeon, you'll get hungry as your belly empties of food. If your belly gets empty, you'll get weaker and weaker until you faint. Oh my gosh, terrible. Bidoof is a little short on experience, so I'll back him up. P.S. I plan to write about how my exploration went with Bidoof. Now that would really be something to look forward to. Eek! Which again makes me think that someone may be... That someone might be peeking at my diary. Oh my gosh, how horrifying! Makes me wonder if, like... Ba ba ba, if, like, Loudred snuck a peek at the diary. He was just like, how dare she criticize me! I promised and now I'll deliver. Here's my report on exploring with Bidoof. Oh my gosh, I was amazed at how little Bidoof knew about exploring. An example, if an enemy stands beside you, pushing Y will make you face it easy, right? He didn't even know that! But all he needed was a little coaching. When I taught him, Bidoof picked up things really quickly. He's not so bad after all. Oh my gosh! We got the job done, too. Another fun day! I like this. I like this a lot. I've never kept, like, a journal or a diary myself. Just never, like, felt the need for it. Yo, Sunflora! Nice day out, huh? By the way, complete change of topic, I know. Did you hear that Marowak Dojo is reopened? Marowak Dojo? The one that closed recently? Yeah, there weren't many customers. It wasn't well managed and went bankrupt in the end. That Marowak Dojo. But, as in however, it's been resurrected from the rubble. Back and better than ever under new management. What do you think? How about you go check out the new Marowak Dojo? Don't you? To train yourself, Sunflora. Well, I'd love to go, but I'm on my way to take care of a job. By the way, why are you promoting the Marowak Dojo re anyway, Vigoroth? <laughs> the truth is, Marowak asked me to do as a sort of part-time job. Well, I say that, but the pay is really minuscule. I guess you could say I'm actually a volunteer. <laughs> the outlaw haunter. Yeah, I think I've heard about him. Sounds like he's a pretty famous outlaw. You and Haunter are both pretty famous among exploration teams, you know. I'd like to fight either one of you one day, even if you win. I could probably get a scratch or two in my with my no, my, my brain is just not reading correctly. A scratch or two in with my sharp claws. Ooh, just thinking about it is exciting. Please, when you've got some free time, come challenge me. Interesting. You're Sunflower from the guild? I've heard you're one of the best apprentices in Wigglytuff's guild. That's actually kind of neat that Sunflora is basically the super apprentice. We try to buy only cheaper items that have the greatest value. And they're basically just the same. I've got it, Sunflora. Have to Have you come to use the storage? I'll take good care of your items so you can entrust them to me. I like that. I can't believe Kangaskhan called me a broke bitch. Let's see. At least three. Doo -doo -doo. And uh, three Reviver Seeds as well. And then I just need to hope that I don't... I should probably also take some... Orin Berries with me. Oh crap, I don't have much Orin Berries, so actually I'll leave it. My Reviver Seeds can be my Orin. Would be interesting if, like, other characters could come here and be like, eh, I wonder who lives here. Oh, Sunflora! Don't tell anyone that you saw us here, just in case I am telling you we're here, but we're not loafing on the job, hear me? Not loafing on the job? Definitely not trying to loaf on the job. <laughs> but no, oh, great, see? I just use notepad for the short of quick note. I kind of do the same, but it's mostly just for like story ideas and story note things. I get an idea, I write it down in like the corresponding like, text document that I've created. My various ideas. Like, I keep getting Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story ideas. I really need to work faster on writing so they can see the light of day. And speaking of that, I've actually also read yet another pretty good Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic lately. There's just, like, so many that are super nice. I need to read more. 
because just like also I find it amusing that a lot of the ones that I like are super heavy on character where like a lot of character interaction character interaction is a lot of fun for me make me care about the characters and I'll basically read anything I can just imagine the player and partner being like hey where did our stuff go considering that stuff from the future <laughs> Kangaskhan's Satchel. Well, I guess it does make sense because the Kangaskhan storage was also working when we were in the future, so it is kind of super timey time. Okay, before I head out, I should confirm my assignment. I need to apprehend the outlaw haunter. Officer Magnuson said that if I head out right away, I should be able to catch him in no time. If I head out quickly, I'll be done in a flash. Yep, all right, here I go. And now we're alone. Ooh. Now this is reused. Uh. Ba ba ba. Rescue team music. Hmm. I'll need to. Well, first I should probably look at my moves. Absorb is obvious. It does damage and heals. What's grass whistle? Afflicts a target an enemy with sleep. All right, so if I run into a dangerous enemy, definitely use that. Worry Seed, meanwhile, makes it so sleepless. Hmm. What's the point of this? Why would I ever want to use this when I have Grass Whistle? And then Raise Relief is obvious. Go ahead and absorb your soul. And I have built-in healing with Absorb. I've never played a grass type in a Mystery Dungeon game before, so... Interesting. Nah, fine, I'll blast you. I probably should have brought along... some Max Elixirs, come to think of it. Heal me! I should probably zoop along as fast as I can. Yeah. I really enjoy reading Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfics lately. It's just a lot of fun when they're really well, like, written. I also find it hilarious that it seems that, like, Mystery Dungeon just seems to be one of those fandoms that really likes long fanfics. Basically, all of the popular ones. Well, then again, I guess it's kind of some kind of uh, bias there because really long fanfics will get updated a lot more and pushed to the top of like, oh, this recently updated list thingies. So, I guess it kind of makes sense that really long fanfics become fan favorites because they had more opportunity to be seen. But at the same time, that also is kind of a mark for the fandom as well. Because that means that the fandom has, like, a lot of people that are willing to go and write really, really long fanfics. So it's kind of like a chicken and egg situation. Die. I definitely just need to write more. Well, that's very mean. Although that is an adorable sleeping sprite. Because I just have so many. So many. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Why are there so many after me? <laughs> I don't want three enemies after me. Why would you do that? How dare. But yeah, I just need to write more. Because I have so many ideas. And the more that I read, the more ideas come to me. Which makes me want to write even more. I started reading the Sonic IDW comics. My eyes widened when I saw how much catching up to do. At least it's not like, uh... The Archie comics once were. Well, that's a very rude game. Will you please stop? <laughs> 
I'm the player character. It should be illegal for me to miss twice in a row. But yeah, the Archie comics were super duper long for the Sonic comics. I only have volume 1, 2, and 3, man. I have no idea how many volumes there are, but I do know there's a decent amount of issues. Uh, I've come quite far. Now where's Haunter? Did he flee deeper into the cave? Hey, you! You, what did you just say? Don't tell me! You're looking for me! Who is that? I can hear you, but I can't see you. <laughs> you can't see me. If that's the case, then I'll show myself. Oh my gosh! Y you surprised me! <laughs> I'm Haunter. If you're looking for me, then you must be an explorer. That's right! My name is Sunflora! I've come to apprehend you! Apprehend? <laughs> You're funny! Hey, Sunflora, why do you think an outlaw like me appeared in front of you? Uh, That's because I've never been caught yet. All the explorers who have tried to catch me have become discouraged, lost their confidence. That kind of disappointment. I'll be happy to show you how it feels. Let's go! You seen the uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Terminus comic? No, I don't believe I have. It could also be that I just don't recognize the name because so many things, so many names. I'm bad with names. All right, uh, damn you. I win. <laughs> Thank you, random totter seed. Well, that, that face plant animation. Phew, somehow I managed to knock him out anyway. That haunter had a big mouth, but he couldn't back it up. He's not moving. It looks like he's fainted, so I need to hurry up and apprehend him. Yay! What the? Oh my gosh! It's so bright! I can't see a thing! Like, what? Are there multiple haunters just pretending to be one haunter? Oh my gosh! What? I just... I know I just knocked you out. Why is he suddenly fine? <laughs> Oh, did you see that? It's impossible to knock me out. Why, you ask? Well, it's because I'm invincible. <laughs> invincible? Oh, that reminds me. And of course, immediate flashback to the thing that we saw five minutes ago. What is this, Naruto? His alias is the Invincible Haunter. Invincible? That's right. But that's not the right voice at all. No sugarcoating. Brain doesn't know how to parse that. Brain, brain can sometimes be bad at taking in information. Brain is always like, I want more information so I am sure that I have the right information. <laughs> Laughs in flamethrower. Whenever you go up against an outlaw, always have to murder. It doesn't matter how many times you knock him out, he always gets right back up, good as new. He must be invincible, that haunter. That's why we haven't been able to catch him. An invincible Pokemon. Haunter. Invincible. Haunter. <laughs> it doesn't matter how much damage I receive, it doesn't faze me at all. Compared to you, you feel the damage from battles. And eventually you'll get tired, and you know who will fall to the ground first. It will be you. And all the explorers who come after me and try to capture me! Oh. Get it! It's impossible to catch me! You should just give up already! We just let him walk away. Oh my gosh, I'm not listening to you! Do you think a little setback like that is enough to get me to get up? I would chase you down and arrest you just you wait and see! 
But why? Why is he invincible? Do like a Deadpool. Keep him semi-alive. I'll just be harsh. And we got our all our stuff back, at the very least. But I should really, like, count the amount of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story ideas like I have. Because there's, like, there's so many. Oh, that's not nice at all. How come their rollouts work? That's my question. Whenever I use rollouts... I get just obliter- like, I get obliterated no matter what. I use rollout, they kill me. They use rollout, they kill me. How dare. It's very rude. And I, at least I got another totter seed. Ah, two totter seeds. Huzzah. Oh, but just to get brain out there, even a Deadpool thing probably wouldn't fully work on him because he has to have some kind of secret that is keeping him from, like, actually being knocked out. Could just be that he has a ton of Reviver Seeds mixed with, like, Luminous Orbs or something. Again, could also be there's tons of Haunter working together to keep the illusion up. Could be anything. Hey, Neon just woke up. What have I missed? We've only just begun today's, oh my gosh, playing as Sunflora. Right now, we went and uh, talked to a bunch of people in Treasure Town. I, I like. We also read her diary, which is funny because technically we're somebody reading it through her, which amuses me. And that diary thing was a nice flavor text. But right now, we're trying to hunt down the apparently invincible haunter who appears to be impossible to knock out for some reason. Yeah, because we've only been going for like 30 minutes. And part of that was me resetting because I, I was like, oh, I'm going to, like, hey, DB, I'm going to re uh, begin again where we did last time so that we could get a jump on the story. But then I remembered, oh, yeah, we're going to be doing today's, oh, my gosh, I'm a fool. We were going to be doing a special episode. But other than that, I've just been rambling a vaguely about, like, a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon a fan fiction. And that I have a lot of fanfic ideals and I need to write more. But I also want to, like, go super fast and read a lot of <laughs> Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Wait, Hunter! I'm going to apprehend you this time! Believe me! Ah, you again! You're persistent! Have you forgotten that I'm invincible? Invincible or not, it doesn't matter. I am... I am going to arrest you. It's that simple. Huh. I've seen explorers like you before. The pers persistent explorers who tried to challenge me over and over again. Big deal. It might be a huge shock even for you, but it doesn't matter how hard you try. There's no way you can succeed. No possible way. So let's go! Why make him sleep when we can... Ba -ba -da -ba, make him totter. Get drunk, idiot. He blasted. He blasted. And he didn't he has yet to damage me. I see the invincible haunter. I know the reason why haunter is invincible. I know there's a secret, but I don't know what it is. Could be tons of reviver seeds, could be multiple haunters, I don't know. <laughs> could be that he's just f m messing with us. Well, as you continue to beat down the ghost guy who refuses to stay down, remember to drink your tea. Stay hydrated. Kill God. Which does remind me of one of my story ideas. Maybe I'll ramble on it. Anyway, I managed to knock him out. Again. But... Oh my gosh! Uh, again? I really thought I knocked him out this time. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times you knock me out. Your efforts are useless. I'm invincible. Oh, why? 
why is it why is it the hunter is still so full of energy even after being knocked out? What? Okay, that's a cool animation, but what? What? What is it? These are slugma. Slug my balls. I thought you'd keep following me, so I had them advance. They're fire type Pokemon. F fire type. <laughs> <laughs> they can burn you at their fire. See ya! Hey, don't run away! Was I unprepared? Oh my gosh! I got burned! Hot, 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 hot. I have reviver seeds. Go! Oh my gosh! Use grass whistle! Go! Man, you're dodging up a storm. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Uh, uh. Oh my gosh, I'm losing hope! Help! Hey, Loudred, how the fuck did you get here? Loudred? Oh, this is a cool remix of the diddly deep theme. Are, are you all right, Sunflora? Yeah, you saved me. Is that so? Good. Anyway, it's not like you to fall behind these guys like that. Then again, you did just take a lot of damage. On that note, I just got here, so I'm doing fine. <laughs> but why are you here, Loudred? Huh? Why? Oh, N no reason. It's not because I was worried about you, Sunflora. Chadot asked me to come check on you. That's the only reason. Only because Chadot asked you to? Hmm, <laughs> what's that? You only helped me once, so you don't get carried away. What's with that attitude? Got it. I'm not helping anymore. I'm not helping you again. Humph! They need to sort out their issues. Maybe fuck. Uh, oh, now I've done it. I probably weren't speaking to each other, but honestly, I was happy to see him. I really wanted to thank him, but for some reason, I just couldn't say it. Oh, forget it. I'm mad at myself for not being able to say it. Just then. <laughs> You're, we, were, we were literally just here. This is not even 30 seconds ago. Really? What the fuck? <laughs> Are you all right, Sunflora? Yeah, you saved me. Is that so? Good. Anyway, it's not like you to fall behind those guys like that. And then again, you did just take a lot of damage. On that note, I just got here. So I'm doing fine. <laughs> fine like an old married couple. Then Loudred was just being Loudred. He was really concerned about me. What? Wait a minute. Loudred, what Loudred said. You did just take a lot of damage. On that note, I just got here. So I'm doing fine. Don't tell me, but but that would mean... I think it's connected to what I've been trying to puzzle out now. I think I understand. Hunter says that he's invincible. That's a trick. It has to be a trick. And on we go. But as we wander, I guess I might ramble a few story ideas. Maybe. This is why I write down my story ideas, because, like, it just gets crammed with a ton of potential detail. And then just... Explodes away if I don't write it down quick enough. Like, there are multiple different kinds of story ideas. Ones that linger for, like, five billion years, and ones that just go poof if I don't write them down fast enough. It also doesn't help that a lot of my story ideas are kind of, like, basic-ish beginning. Well, that's not good at all. Well, that's not very good at all, no. Bye-bye. Looks like she figured it out. Could be. But like, the main problem with a lot of my story ideas is that a lot of it is midway like story stuff. Get grass whistled, idiot. 
I need to use that more. So I can keep my damaging moves for emergencies. But yeah. Like, the only one that immediately... Like, the only story idea that immediately sticks out to me as... Oh, Jesus, mother... Wait, you, that, that could just kill you. I was like, oh, no! It's an onyx! Wait a minute, you're a rock-type. I'm a grass-type. Die, idiot. But yeah. Why? Heh. <laughs> I can just kill him off-screen. But back to the ideas ideas. Is that... I blah 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 thoughts thoughts. A lot of my story ideas, like I said, are ones that are like part of the way through. Like the really interesting stuff really gets going part way through. Like oh, you meet the characters and then the plot gets going and the mystery slowly unraveled before your eyes. That kind of thing. And it's kind of hard. To like, it's, I think it's a side effect where I haven't really talked about my stories all that much. So, talking about them at all is like hard. Like, how do I describe these characters? I don't know. How do I describe the plot? I don't know. It's all there in my head, but describing it is difficult. It's like, it's like when you know a word and you know how to use the word in a sentence. But you don't know how to define the word. It's just very weird. A simple start is okay. Rock and ground type. Four times of super effective. That poor Onyx never stood a chance. Be like, the one that actually has a premise that I can talk about that's not just like, and here's the spoilers, is uh, basically, because I've been reading Pokemon Mystery Dungeons fanfic since it's all fun is essentially a world being run by Arceus, but being run poorly. And Giratina, because the locked away Judas Satan figure, I figured, why not play off that? So, like, Arceus keeps bringing humans in to their world to, like, maintain the balance, even if the balance is kind of abhorrent. They're a poor manager. And then Giratina's like, you know what, fuck this, I'm gonna bring in my own human to upset the balance. Let's bring in revolution. I think that'd be cool. Then the problem is writing politics. That's the difficult part. I'm more like, write it down. That's what I've been doing. All my ideas I write down and, like, jot down the ideas. Sometimes I'll go, here's, like, a thousand words of pure, compressed story idea of characters and plot and pacing. The super hard part is actually uncompressing all that data into chapters to be read. I've come pretty far. Hunter must be hiding just ahead. This time I will most definitely capture him. Would you like to say the adventure? Yes, I would. Yeah, because, like, like I'm, gonna, I'm just going to quickly check because it shouldn't take too long. Because I have a document of just random Pokemon Mystery Dungeon alone ideas. So let's see. There's that one. Ba ba ba. We have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. 15 Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story ideas alone of varying length of just compressed story pacing and character. It's just, I have too many ideas and I need to write them down fast. I just toss drawings around to my friend group. I kind of do the same, but I need to like draw more. Brain really likes to attack my drawings a lot. Like, Sometimes I'll, like, it's not, it's not even so much as, like, oh, I'm not good enough for my art. Like, I think I'm kind of past that. I still be like, hmm, I could do better. But then that kind of just fuels me to, like, iterate, iterate, iterate and do better. But nowadays, a lot of my art anxiety in regards to, bla to, to brain is, like, oh, no, nobody cares about my art. Nobody looks at my art. And, like, brain uses that as, like, a wedge to get in and attack me and really hurt my brain. 
hurt itself, which then hurts me. The self-harming brain up in here. So just like, that's another thing that I just need to get past. But it, it, it's difficult. Managing brain is hard. Gee, that sun, Flora. I think she's still pursuing me. So persistent. Good grief. That's right. She's a grass-type Pokemon. So if I run away over there... <laughs> So it just, like, it gets to a difficult thing where Brain just, like, won't let me just draw for the sake of myself and be like, I think this would be a cool idea and I want to see it drawn. My Brain likes to attack it and go, eh, but what if nobody wants to see it? What's the point then? Hmm? Because Brain is a bastard and needs to be silenced. Like it lives in a uh, communist dictatorship. Get absorbed, idiot. Oh. What? You're supposed... Aren't you steel-type, you psychic little bitch? Die. I'll use you to heal a little bit. Nom. Yeah, brain just really likes to dig into the anxiety. Whenever it can, when it comes to my artistic endeavors. That's not what I wanted at all. I feel like they put that there purely to, like, attack the player. What if we give them Worry Seed? Like, why would you even want Worry Seed? When you have Grass Whistle. That just means that diddly dee. If it makes you feel better, I have the Neon and Silas Aura the computer wallpaper. Oh, that's sweet. I know that, 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 that's just very nice to hear. Very nice to hear. Oh, that's not good at all. I need to run away until that protect wears off because I don't have any rocks. Thank God he missed. All right, yeah, you counter. Well, I thought it was protect, but either way. It just going bye-bye is good enough for me. But yeah, just hearing that, that, that brings smile to face. I just need to draw more and sink brain away into uh, the sunken place where it can talk no more. So I can just be left alone to do my drawings. But sometimes... Well, that's very rude. <laughs> Trap right next to the exit. But at the same time, it's one of those things where knowing and, like, internalizing are two different things. Because, like, I know, I know that, oh, I just need to draw more, my skills will grow, people will see it more, and there's always going to be lurkers, the social media numbers, they don't really matter, I shouldn't really be super bothered by it, but the brain, the brain is illogical, so I can't really change it. Controlling it be hard. When you complete these special episodes, uh, do you get the items back? Yes, you do. And the money. Which is very nice. Get grass whistled, idiot. Now I am the one who abuses the sleeping. There! Right there! Hunter is right there! I found you, Hunter! I'm going to arrest you! You might as well give up! <laughs> You've been more persistent than anyone else who's tried to catch me. You're ridiculously stubborn. But if it's still completely useless... Don't you get it? I'm invincible! I have... I have proved that you're not invincible! What? There's no such thing as an invincible Pokemon. It was nothing but a ruse right from the beginning. It wasn't invincibility or anything else, was it, guys? G guys What do you mean? You found this out? Yes, I figured out that there isn't just one of you. Come on out! The rest of you! I knew it. <laughs> I knew there were multiple haunters. I knew it! Y you I knew it. There isn't just one haunter, there's three! 
that time. At least this time, it kind of makes sense. When I knocked out Haunter, he's not moving. It looks like he's fainted. So I need to hurry up and apprehend him. Yay! <laughs> Flashbang! Uh, think fast, chuckle nuts! But every time I tried to arrest you, Haunter, there was always the sudden blinding light. For a moment, I couldn't see a thing. It was then, wasn't it, that you changed places? You distorted your opponents with a blinding light while the two of you were hidden would come out. Oh, that, I do like that they're actually animating that. You'd hide the haunter who fainted. <laughs> Drag the body to hell. Then one of you would feign innocence and pretend to be the haunter who fainted. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. I, I can't see a thing. Oh my gosh. What? I just, I know I just knocked you out. Why is he suddenly fine? <laughs> Did you see that? It's impossible to knock me out. That's how you got everyone to think you were invincible, Haunter. The exploration teams that have challenged you so far, Haunter, the moment they believed that you were invincible... Quit saying his name a million times. They lost the will to fight. That's why the exploration teams were unable to apprehend, Haunter. You've been deceiving exploration teams after exploration team that way until now. That's how you always escape. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you have found out. Now that our secret has been discovered, we can't let you return. What? Oh, that's not good at all. Oh my gosh! Hot, 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 hot! <laughs> this is the Spring Cave Pit. Lava flows directly beneath here. You've been incredibly persistent knowing that we ran here. It's the best place to knock out grass-type Pokemon like you. Brace yourself! Oh my gosh! Huh? Loudred! Are you all right, Sunflora? Huh? What? What are you doing here? Forget that! Here they come! Look out! That is... Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> I find that funny. Oh, hey, super effective. Nice. Dang it. Oh, good. Confused. And now I'll just heal myself off their uh, sleeping corpses. Get knocked out, idiot. Get knocked out, idiot. And I also have an extra totter seed if worse comes to worse. Probably stop using that now that I'm full health. I feel like these guys have more health collectively. Then again, they're not relying on their schemes anymore. Well, that's not good at all. Of course, the hunter didn't get burned because they're levitating. Indeed. Whoops. Sorry, Loudred. Dang it. Dang it. Luckily, I had more reviver seeds, but now you've just put yourself in danger. Dang it. How about you go to sleep? And I'll just move here. Get blasted. Grass whistle. And goodbye, Haunter number three. So I guess you could call this an SSS ranked criminal case. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. 
<laughs> I give up. All right, we've knocked out every honor. Yippee! Let's hurry and arrest them. I like that establishing shot for some reason. Thank you very much. The outlaw hunter, the invincible hunter whom nobody was able to capture, was finally apprehended. Here's a question. Aren't there Pokemon out there who don't have eyes? Wouldn't they be able to recognize that, like, hmm, while everybody else's eyes were afflicted, I noticed that something weird was happening. It's shocking to learn that it was actually three Pokemon deceiving us. Furthermore, I'd call this a brilliant arrest seen through the deception. It was magnificent. It's to be expected from one of Wigglytuff's apprentices. You are all on a different level. Oh, you don't have to say that. This praise from you is making us blush, officer. You're not the one being praised, hey, hey. Where's Loudred, though? Sunflora, this is a thank you from me. Ooh, a sun scarf. A sun scarf? This will help me against fire type damage. This exclusive item is a great treasure. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy! Well then, thank you for your assistance. Alright, come along. Attention! Thanks to Sunflora, she accomplished this arrest. You really did a great job. No, no, I must say, I didn't do it all by myself. Huh? Speaking of which, where's Loudred? Where's Loudred? Loudred? He's in trouble. He neglected his gatekeeper duties for the day and sneaked away somewhere to slack off. Huh? So as punishment, I sent him to Apple Woods to fetch perfect apples. L Loudred? Chadot didn't really ask you to come help me. That's not true, Chadot. Huh? What isn't? The truth is, Loudred came to save me. What? Is that right? If that's true, the case, then Loudred also deserves recognition. I need to thank him. But... Golly, what is it? Guild rules are strict. The fact that Loudred left his post remains unchanged. A uh, punishment is a punishment. Loudred's already left for Apple Woods. He'll only have to harvest perfect apples for today. And then he can get recognition, kind of like, you neglected your gatekeeping duties, but you did it for a good reason, so go get apples, and uh, now we're gonna just be like, uh, good, I guess. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> And while Sunflora was handling this, Team Lost Light were doing the Waterfall Cave request, which I do like that they pointed that out. I like that they actually put it somewhere in the timeline. Which is also kind of interesting in that we <laughs> didn't get back in time to see to see that. On the one hand, it would be kind of neat if, like, while we were approaching, uh, but that would spoil the thing. Like, I don't know. I think it would have been neat if there was some recognition of what happened in the special episode during this actual story. But it would also could potentially spoil the three Haunter reveal. But at the same, same time, like, that could, like, maybe be a funny aha foreshadowing for people that pay attention. I don't know. I just think things like that would be cool. Greetings, Sunflora. Everyone's telling scary stories in the next room. Neon and Silas are there, too. Ooh, do we get to see it? Please. Do you want to join join us, Sunflora? No, thank you. Right now, I'm writing in my diary. Oh, I see. Okay, come over when you're done, Sunflora. Crocon got a really scary story. Yeah, I've got it. I'll be there shortly. Oh, Chimiko? Yes? Has Loudred returned to his room yet? Indeed, no. Not yet, it seems. I see. See you. I have to hear the rest of the story. Just remember it. Eek! Scary! <laughs> I wonder if he's still gathering perfect apples. Loudred, I really need to apologize and to thank you. Before, I... I didn't want to go to dungeons with you at all. I'm afraid I kind of blurted out things like that. Oh my gosh, I'm really sorry for what I said. I wish I could take all that back. 
I wonder if you'll go to dungeons with me in the future. I wonder if we can be friends again. Anyway, as soon as Loudred's back, I'm going straight to him to apologize. I've got to tell him what I couldn't say then. Thank you. Damn it, we didn't get to see the reconciliation. But oh well, that's still a good ending point. Uh, that was a nice special episode. It was very nice. <laughs> Wait, what? How come we didn't get a cutscene for that? Like, that would be neat if we could have actually seen the scary story thing. But that is one thing that I do enjoy about these special episodes. Is that they kind of insert just a little bit of missing pieces that, like, the normal gameplay loop kind of excises to keep story flow going properly. But I would have really liked to have seen all of the guild apprentices gathered around sharing scary stories. I think that would be cool. Well, hey, that's always like a fanfic or fan comic idea. And once again, I am faced with the hilarious, like, realization that Bidoof's special episode has been the hardest so far for no reason. Eggly Buff the Prodigy, I don't think I ever got low on health once. This one, uh, yeah, we used up a lot of our Reviver Seeds, but that's purely because of uh, a three-on-three -three boss fight and then, like, one unfortunate rollout occurrence in the dungeon. I want to see Silas or Apollo or whoever getting closer to the player when they're terrified. Yeah! Alright. Into I have art idea folder that goes. Because just like ideas. Ideas are nice. I just I love this game. I'm happy they did the special episodes. Writing down ideas. I just, I really like it. Items and everything have been diddly deed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Three on two boss fight. Yeah, it's just like the bosses are always quite hardy. So. Oh, that's interesting. Celebi is the one that gets put there. We'll probably have to speed through some story to get back to where we were specifically. Because we were uh, checking... We were just about to check up on... Grovile at Sharpedo Bluff. Go ahead and speed up since... This is a long cutscene, talking to Torkoal. We did that last time. <laughs> Just pray for the last one. <laughs> the last, uh, special episode. <laughs> Does it get super difficult? <laughs> this is the one downside of, like, me rambling for five million years and then looking at chat and I'm just like, oh no. <laughs> what is that in reference to? I, I think this is also a testament to just how much denser the story is in Explorers, because I don't think there's a cutscene at all in Rescue Team that that's that long. Which is hilarious. Yeah, because we were getting everything ready to go to Brine Cave. Get, you know, get ready when another prince comes back. <laughs> Brian Cave. Let's see if it changed. Probably not, but I want to see. Rialu Tail, everything, everything. Escape Scarf, still nothing for me. I'll go ahead and grab this again, because why not? It makes me feel like I'm doing stuff. Oh, yeah, the Sun Scarf. Because I think that's literally just for Sun Flora. So I wonder what that really me me means. Me 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 memes. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I also forgot. Torkoal got kidnapped by these assholes. And most of the everyone is like talking normally, so I don't think we need to talk to everybody again. First things first, I will like to take all my money. Get off to Brian Cave we are. Also, one thing that I just still find amusing. That guy's portrait. Not finished. I don't even know why. Let's arrange the boxes. Oh yeah, so I forgot. We have a... Fifty box. take all the gummies again with us. You can have... Oh, well, that's also a thing. We'll have to go super recycling, I guess. Alright, now let's take... How many gummies do we have? We shall do that, just so we can. Oh, not actually. We'll take the Iron Thorn and ah, we'll take these. We have so that we can sell them. Just so that they can get out of there. Get out of here! Quickly see. I uh, don't think we have any. So yeah. We'll have to do lots of recycling. First things first. Sell the things that... I don't care about. Anything in there? Like a dark gummy? Nope, some Reviver Seeds, though. I guess I go, I'll buy one, one Reviver Seed. Recoup our losses. Global enemies within Brian Cave. What do you suppose they are? Eek, thinking about them frightens me. I think immediately I've already swapped how I did her voice compared to how I was doing it while playing her. Yep, I got a lot of items in storage, and I've been recycling like crazy. And we got another Eevee tail. Damn it. Oh, right, Neon. We should go over to Sharpedo Bluff before we go back to the guild. Just in case Grovile has come back. Let's go out and ch uh, check out Sharpedo Bluff, Neon. See how Grovile has done bumming at my house. Is Grovile back, I wonder? Let's go. It's your house. Oh, he left a note. Grovile isn't here. Hey, over there! There's a sheet of paper. There's something written on it in footpr footprint runes. This is a letter from Grovile. It must be a message for us. I'll read it. Silas began reading the letter from Grovile. To Neon and Silas. How are you doing? How goes your search for the Hidden Land? Things are going well on my end. I've already collected three time gears. I have to find only two more time gears. I plan to join you when I've collected all five. Plans have proceeded smoothly. Azelf and his friends understood the situation, and they have fully cooperated. Azelf told me that members of your guild let them know I was coming. Thank you. It's heartening to know that more and more Pokemon are becoming to trust us. However, I will continue to stay away from Treasure Town and the guild. First, I'm not certain if the Pokémon in this world trust me entirely or not, but there's something more troubling than that. Dusk Noir is liable to return from the future at any time. Dusk Noir? Come to think of it, Dusk Noir failed to get rid of us in the future. I wouldn't put it past him to chase us here. He still wants us gone. Okay, I'll keep reading. Since Dusk Noir will be coming, we should keep a low profile. There's another reason I should stay away from Treasure Town and the Guild. I may instead come back to Sharpedo Bluff or the beach. If we should meet, we can exchange information then. Good luck on your end. Together, we shall stop the planet's paralysis. From Grovile. Okay. 
It sounds like Grovile is hard at work. We better not f fail on our end. According to this letter, Grovile will show up either here or at the beach. If we go down to the beach, maybe we'll see Grovile there. We should go down to the beach before we go back to the guild. I still like that Sharpedo Bluff is <laughs> your partner's house. There's just a lot I wish to see. I feel like it would be cute to have the Pokemon of the guild doing something special. Uh, wherever it's like Chimchar lighting a fireplace or campfire or water type. Yeah, like taking the types into account to do things. <laughs> or a water type like watering a flower bed or crops. That would be neat. And that's what fan fiction is for. To do what cannot be done in a mere game. Because it's one thing to be like, we're going to make unique animations of like certain key characters. Like... Bibbidi Bop pulling out a piece of paper. It's another thing to be like, we're gonna make super unique animations for like all of these things. I need that drink. Me. Make it a special drink. And stir it all around and it's done. My IQ went up. And that's it. Now off to recycle. Did you hear the happy news? Why not? Thanks to everyone's recycling efforts. The diddly 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 dee. Unexplored area. It's so unexplored, everybody is going to go there and get lost and lose things. And it'll be a hot bed of, like, damnation. Oh, a link box. I don't really care and I don't have the berries for it anyway. But interesting, they have special offers. That just happen from time to time. God, I have a lot of apples. Buy some apples! Give me that silver ticket. I've got a silver ticket. I've got a silver ticket. I'm gonna go see Willy Wonka. Oh, it's a win? Huzzah, we get a normal one. And what is my prize? It's recycle. I feel like you're mm, fucking with me. And I hit the offer button again. I feel like the offer, well, at the same time, you kind of want to prod the player to be like, hey. You moron, there's special things. and TMs. God. Do 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 Get rid of that energy ball. I have too many TMs. I have too many of all of this. Give me another red, I guess. I've got a silver chance to make my way. But if you rank up, you'll get more tickets. Yep, that's what I kind of, like, noticed. Or I think it actually tell me. Oh, hey, an Ornberry. Not a bad one. I, I, I hate you. I don't want your offer. I don't want a link box. I'm not going to link in the field. You dirty little monkey. I guess I could throw in a few apples, because dear God. You know, I'm just going to do an entire recycle of just apples, because Jesus Christ. I I'll have six apples. You can feed an entire orphanage with these apples. Map another loss. And what's my consolation prize? A rainy orb. I don't want the offer. I want items because I want to get rid of my items specifically. I have too many items in my storage. Mama Kangaskhan cannot handle. Angle all of it. Let's 
see. Just get rid of some of the, like, duplicates. And a few of these, just because I can. Do, 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 yellow. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's a win. It's a win times. <laughs> I got like a 400 plus storage. I envy that. And I got a thief. Are you calling me a thief for all the stuff that I get from my adventures? At least now we can go and put away more of our items so we can take more stuff back with us so we can recycle more and just suffer nightmares. Hello, Mama Kangaskhan. Can you please take all this stuff away from me? It's scary. Oh, wait. I, I want to keep some of that. Yes. Thank you, Mama Kangaskhan. I love these games. I need to write and draw more to do things. Save and count on you. Now let's go to the beach. And hope that, like, the bastard ain't there strangling the boy. Ooh, chapter 18. Lapras. Kind of sudden to begin a, a chapter, but sure. I was hoping to see Grovile here. No, he's not here after all. Speaking of not being here, the Krabby aren't here either. They always come out here in the evening to blow bubbles. I love seeing their bubbles go floating away in the evening sky. Oh, that's too bad. It's a letdown, but... Look, Neon. The beautiful the sunset's beautiful like it always is. You know? It was always my dream to solve the secret of my relic fragment. But I would have never guessed that the relic fragment was connected to the hidden land. That reminds me. He was here, wasn't it? Where Coffin and his sidekick stole my relic fragment. Now this is an earned flashback. Sorry, kiddo. We'll take that. Ah! Whoa! Not gonna make a move to get it back. What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect that you'd be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. See you around, chicken. <laughs> and I'm already lightheaded. I remember. I was too scared to get it back. You gave me the courage then, Leon. You know, that was how we really started as a team. Getting back this relic fragment was Team Lost Light's first adventure. And now we're using the same relic fragment so we can go to the Hidden Land. If you think about it, it's kind of strange. That's true. My adventures with Silas and searching for the Hidden Land the relic fragment was the start of both. This beautiful sunset. It'll be the loss. It'll be lost if the planet's paralysis can't be stopped. We have to stop that. We can't waste any time finding the hidden land. We have to go. We have to do good tomorrow, Neon. That's right. We have to try hard. I must fulfill the mission that I had before losing my memories. My mission with Grovile. A mission to help the Pokemon of this world and those of the future. What? Hey, Neon. That... What was that? Well, I don't know. What was that? Oh! It's a Lapras. It's obvious because it's in the chapter. Also, good art. Love it. I love this game. What could it be? It looks like it's swimming across the sunset. 
I think it's a Pokemon. Well, that's a little strange. The sun's almost gone. We should head back to the guild soon. Aw, uh, I was, I was, uh, for a moment I was worried we were going to see Torkoal get smacked. <laughs> the Krabby went around for a good reason. They ran off, scared of us. <laughs> Whoa, but Chief, that old-timer Torkoal was in line to us after all. <laughs> that junk we stole back then, I didn't know it was going to be something that valuable. So what? We'll get that relic fragment from them one way or another. That means the hidden land is going to be explored by none other than us, Team Skull! Cha ha ha! Whoa! <laughs> they're never gonna let. They're just gonna haunt us for eternity, ain't us? Ain't us? Ain't they? Where's Wigglytuff? He ain't there with his bouncing uh, perfect apple. Moon. Oh, already sleeping? And we come back to Lapras. Ooh, is this where Wigglytuff's going to be? Oh, hey, I was right. I was guessing. Lapras, long time no see. It's been too long, Wigglytuff. You look well. Is Chatot doing well, too? Yes, very well. I'm glad to hear that. I've always meant to thank you. I deeply appreciate the promise you made and upheld for all this time. No problem. No big deal. Uh, but today, I am here to see you about that promise. We find ourselves in a situation where we can't afford to uphold that promise. I suspect that you know why. So please tell me about that... Strange pattern we once saw. Ooh, the plot chickens. The next morning. Muppet Adam, it's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. Uh, would you like to save your adventure? Yes. We will save and murder and kill. We will pillage. <laughs> and so, as you are all quite well aware, Guildmaster has not yet returned from his errand. However, I intend to set off for Brine Cave as scheduled. Hey, hey, where'd Guildmaster go anyway? Um, I wouldn't know that. Is it going to be okay without the Guildmaster? No problem. There's no need for your concern at all. Guildmaster must have decided that we can manage on our own without him for the time being. That's why he hasn't come home yet. Furthermore, in the place of our absent guildmaster, you have me to lead you! Ah, <laughs> uh, why isn't anyone saying anything? It, it can't be! Do you all think that I'm not up to the task? A everyone, out with it! Am I perhaps, perhaps, inadequate, worthless to you? <laughs> Uh, nope. I wouldn't say that, by golly. When Guildmaster isn't here, it just feels less safe. Hey, hey, you know the Guildmaster. He's hard to figure out. But hey, hey, he really comes through when things get rough. But the Guildmaster isn't with us right now, so we have to take charge and do as he wanted. That's right. I'm sure that we can get our the job done on our own. Let's go for it. Uh, my brain wanted to put more words there, but it doesn't make sense. Let's go for it on our own! You're right! We can't count on the Guildmaster for everything! Ah, oh, yes, that's the spirit. Let's do our best! Chadot, the Guildmaster is absent, so there's only one among us who can lead. And that's you, Chadot. Uh-huh. Oh, me? Of course, you said so earlier. You said that we'll be fine because you're here to lead us. Lead the way! Show us, Chadot! That's right! Show us, Chadot! Hey, hey! Yep, yep, I'm counting on you. Uh, <laughs> well, everyone, you can always count on me when things are this bad. What's the matter, Chetta? It's time to call the duty already. I know, I know. 
commencing now. We shall depart on a guild exploration of Brain Cave. Everyone, let us excel together. Hooray. Oh, we're just immediately setting out. Good thing they gave us time to plan last night. Now, everyone, listen. This is the entrance to Brian Cave. Your objective is to reach the deepest part of the dungeon. That is where one will find the same old pattern inscribed on the relic fragment that Silas has. However, it is there where an extremely vicious Pokemon lurks. Extremely vicious. Golly, that sounds scary. <laughs> hey, hey, Chaddle. What is it? Yesterday, Guildmaster said something about that vicious Pokemon. But Chaddle, you seem to know just as much about this dungeon. Hey, hey. Chaddle, is it possible that you've been here before? That's right. I have come here before. I explored here a long time ago with the Guildmaster. It was deep in this cave that we saw this peculiar pattern. It was then, however, those tough Pokemon appeared. Uh, so, what were they like, tough you say? Uh... Why does it, why does that face look so distraught for some reason? So sad. I don't remember at all. Huh? You don't remember? Yes, but I'm loath to admit it. They attacked with no warning out of nowhere. I was knocked out before I could do a thing. When I came to, the guildmaster was tending to my wounds. But I had no memory of the events before that. So I couldn't tell you what the attackers were like. Ah. That gives us nothing to go on. So we don't know the kind of enemy we're facing. We'll have to make our way slowly. Wait a second. Hey, Chadot. At first you said there was one vicious Pokemon, but then you said they attacked you. There's more than one? Actually, I was using gender-neutral pronouns. You fuck. No, it wasn't just one. There was one extremely vicious Pokemon, but it wasn't alone. <laughs> one thing I hate, public speaking. I have not had much public speaking, but I could definitely see it being terrible. Brain like, <gasps> wait, am I boring? Oh wait, am I, am I annoying? Indeed. <laughs> the, that, the, the, that's partly why I, I need to like socialize more, but at the same time I fear to socialize more because I'm worried about being annoying and like dominating the conversation and then just killing any kind of future interactions in that area. When they attacked, oh I remember now, they attacked all at once. I recall getting slammed with water like a tidal wave. My brain wants to make a lewd joke, but I shall refrain, mainly because I couldn't make it. F I can't make it funny right now. Like a tidal wave? That could mean water type moves. We're ground type. We don't like water at all. I hope we don't have to fight enemies like that. It would be awfully dangerous to make a go of it alone. That's right. We should make several groups to explore the cave. We'll do that, sir. Yep, yep. Hey, hey, we should form teams that don't bunch up types. You too. Remember what the Guildmaster said yesterday. The two members from Team Lost Light must be in my group. Therefore, you two shall accompany me when exploring the cave. Understood? I trust you won't hold me up too much. Uh, you must not expect me to do everything for you. It's up to you to look after yourselves. Uh, understood. All right, everyone. We're off to conquer Brian Cave. Let's give it all! Hooray! <laughs> well, let me get a hand towel. That extra chat up <laughs> made me spit out my water. <laughs> I'm happy that my joke has landed. <laughs> Chief, looks like these louts from the guild are already inside. Whoa, should we follow them? <laughs> Sounds good. We'll track them, but let's keep out of sight. When the right time comes along, somewhere in the cave, that's when we'll grab that wimpy Silas's relic fragment. Then we'll howl tail it, howl, howl tail it. That sounds very bad. Then we'll hightail it to the deepest part of the cave. We'll grab all the glory of solving this mystery. <laughs> Brilliant, Chief. Your plan's perfect. <laughs> Naturally. Anyway, it'll be us, Team Skull. We'll be the ones to going to the hidden land. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't know why Coffin's laugh keeps getting deeper. This is some interesting music. But yeah, after stream tonight, I definitely should just draw. Draw some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Because I just, I need to draw more. And write more. Because I think I am three-ish chapters into my 11-chapter short Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story idea. So, could try and make progress on that. Because my plan is to at least get halfway through it, so I can, like, I don't know, upload it week to week, maybe twice a week? I don't know. Pacing has never been my forte when it comes to, like, uploading story chapters. You fool, you activated your counter too late, and now you're dead. It was funnier due to the fact the game uses gender neutral terms for the main character, even though you say your gender in the personality quiz. Also, you're a higher level than Chadot. Oh, we are? Huh, we are. I guess he's been slacking off in the guild. What's Aqua Ring? Let's quickly check and see, because I wasn't paying attention to the message log. How many items? Two. I don't care. Let's move on. But that is partially why the joke came to mind, because yeah, this game does, a lot of the time, utilize gender-neutral pronouns and stuff just so they don't have to make unique, like, uh, dialogue and worry all the time. Because that's partly why, again, like, like as you said, even though you do choose your gender in the personality quiz, they hardly ever actually acknowledge it anywhere in the game. Purely because it's probably easier... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what the programming would be because you think that they could potentially just, like make it so that it's kind of like the, uh, I'm trying to think of, because it's basically the same way that you can enter your name and your team name. So technically, they could make it so that if character is, uh, selected this gender, insert the, these terms at these places, like again they do for the team name, but who knows. That could still require a lot of, like, proofreading, because it would, pretend, like, depend on, like, tense and, like, possession, like, his, hers, he, she, and, like, uh, other kinds of variants of gendered words. It's just easier to say the name or use gender neutral so as to lessen the overall burden of, like, writing. On the team, I guess. I was level 40 when I was down here. Ah, I guess I haven't grinded all that much. At least you got three members helping you in this dungeon. So if it does get difficult, we won't have to worry too, too much. Two. Two! Oh, hey, this is interesting. This is the first time that, like, a pond has, like, shown up. In, like, the middle of a room. That's new. If I wanted, I could Mobility Scarf, but I don't care. Those items aren't worth Mobility Scarfing for it. Hmm. I think I have, like, a new mini goal for myself. Maybe I should try and draw, like, Team Lost Light in between streams to try and get drawing practice in, and then I can show it off at the end of the stream each time, maybe. Well, that's very rude. How dare you put down poison spikes right where I was going to walk. Right in front of my salad? <laughs> if... 
Now my brain is just like imagining Wigglytuff right in front of my perfect apples, dinner and a show. His brain just goes places. And that dang tenta tenta motherfucker. Ow. Chat out why. It was exposed. And he still fell for it. Sure, it was my movement. I'm the innocent party here. I'm the one who's dying. Well, it is called Brine Cave. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. I should have waited there to heal. I'm a fool. Quickly heal, and then move on. Die. Oh yeah, I also had a thought, but it didn't come to mind uh, until just now. But Shadot mentioned that Wigglytuff hadn't returned from his errand of talking with Lapras, which is apparently about the Brine Cave incident. So maybe Lapras is like the guardian of Brine Cave and a hidden land? And so when their team went there, Lapras was like, I can't allow you. And Wigglytuff is like, oh, it's okay. We just wanted to explore. We'll keep this a secret. And who knows, maybe Lapras is like, I'm sorry, but I cannot allow you to divulge this information. Prepare to die. Now I'm wondering who's going to park their car on my sandwich. Well, it depends. Who would have a sandwich in this world? Is the real question. Also, Jesus, this is a lot of enemies. Luckily, they go down in one hit, for the most part. How dare you throw stars at my boyfriend? Die! If it hit Shadot, I would have had to say, hey, how dare you throw stars at Wigglytuff's boyfriend? And now my brain, like, inserted the words, Oh God, I'm the straight one in this situation. Ooh, this is a funky beat already. We've gone pretty far down. Hey, Chadot, are we nearing the place where you saw the pattern? We're nearly there. We don't have far to go. However, as I've told you before, every step also takes us closer to those vicious Pokemon. Yes, and we'll have to stay careful and keep our eyes open. Anyway, we don't have far to go now. Let's keep up, Neon. Bastard. Ow! Whoops. Excuse me. Hey! Whoa! Long time, weaklings. Oh, you're that nice team, eh? This is it. The Relic Fragment. That's... <laughs> I'll take this. Hey! Whoa! This is the second time you're getting mugged for this! <laughs> you don't learn very well, that's for sure! Well, wait! Wait, please! I'm afraid I'm not following what's going on here! Why are you even here? We haven't seen any of you from Team Skull since you suddenly disappeared during the expedition! I fretted for your well-being! Worried, huh? <laughs> your guild's full of gullible nincompoops just waiting to be fleeced! Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh! Uh? Your demeanor and language seem to be much coarser now! Chadot, you were deceiving the guild this whole time! They're a bad exploration team. Team Skull is a bunch of crooks! W what Is that true? Whoa, what else? You'd have to be naive beyond belief to be fooled this long. <laughs> anyway, now we've got the Relic Fragment. Now we just have to go to the Hidden Land. Eat your heart out, nitwits! <laughs> And we're not- we're not even gonna give chase. Maybe they'll get eaten by the vicious Pokemon. Stalk! Stalk! Those stinking scoundrels! Play me for a fool, will they? Stalk! I read too fast, I'm so angry! I'll show them what it means to trifle with me! Oh, he just ran ahead. Hey, wait, Shadot! He's gone. Shadot was sure furious. I hope he'll be okay. 
After all, those are vicious Pokemon. He, there are those vicious Pokemon he warned us about lurking ahead. Not just that, we still need to recover my relic fragment from Skunk Tank. We should hurry too. First, we will Sabe. And again, funky music. Let's go on. Lower Brine Cave. And now we're back to three characters. Die. He didn't die. Leave the boy alone, you genocidal maniac. Because apparently the Gastrodon are like super racist to other Gastrodon. I think it's like Eastern and Western Gastrodon, like the different like versions. Apparently they like to go to war and murder each other. <laughs> well, that makes me and Apollo a bit of gay, huh? It's Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. At this point, it, there's a lot of gay. Whether they, exp like, mean to or not. And then they also do weird things, like apparently, in an advertisement for uh, Gates to Infinity, they accidentally made, uh, like, implied, at least in, like, a Western American advertisement for Gates to Infinity. They kind of implied that Umbreon and Espeon are a couple, when apparently in the game, they're more coded as a brother-sister team, which is hilarious. Pokemon, they just keep accidentally throwing in the sexual deviancy. And now we're getting a lot of, like, mid-room... Bibbity bops, huh? If I had, <laughs> I could pop on my mobility scarf and like zoop on down that tile. I can't believe Chad Up now realizes how awful they are. They even said you must be so naive to believe at this point. To be fair, I wonder how many times he actually interacted with them. Oh, here we go again with the Pokemon racism. <laughs> hey, oh, what an arse! Yes, exactly. I haven't seen the advertisement, but I've heard, like, again, in Gates to Infinity, Espeon and Umbreon are meant to be a brother-sister team. Then in an advertisement, I think it's, like, kind of implies, do they have a secret romance? Probably. It's entirely possible that that advertisement was made by, like, a third party not really super related to Nintendo, maybe? And so they didn't, like, know a lot of the details, and they're just, like, skimming over the surface level of the game, and like, hmm, what kind of things can we use to advertise the game? Ah, oh, we only went up by ones across the board. But hey, that's still a nice spread in the end. In fact, I actually read a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic that included Umbreon and Espeon, and decided to twist it where, in the Pokemon world, incest isn't that big of a deal, but it's still kind of taboo in, like, an awkward way. It's just like, eh, hey, it's, it's on some level canon. I guess if you wanted to explore it, you can. And plus, honestly, in that fanfic, the relationship is kind of tragic, so, eh. It worked out in that case. Bleh. I feel a sneeze coming on. <laughs> Thanks, Neon. When I get to Gates to Infinity, they'll be stuck in my head. Hey, don't blame me. <laughs> blame the official advertisements. Although, it wouldn't be the first time that, like, Pokemon, like, set up for a, uh, Espeon and Umbreon to be shipped together. I mean, just look at Pokemon Coliseum. All these bitches gay. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Although, now my brain went, like... In my case, I wonder, like, for the human who was partner to Grovile, like, it would be a, if I, like, novelized my adventures, my brain says that I would 
make it so that the human was male as a human, but then through Pokemon became female Zoroa. Or Eevee, depending on <laughs> depending on if you want canonical explorers. I wonder how Grovile would react to that. It's like Or if it would just be like, you know, you changed your entire species. Your gender isn't really the most important aspect. Because that is one funny thing, whenever I read, a, like, a fanfic of, like, various properties about, like, either, like, warrior cats, Pokemon, My Little Pony, and characters fall through and become a native species. And they're like, oh no, not only have I completely changed my physical form beyond recognition of humanity, but I've also changed my gender. And I'm just like, I think your gender is the least of your worries right now. Damn it. I guess I could go up through here, maybe. Yeah, we have no idea if the gender changes. Then again, like, what even is the uh, quiz in-universe, come to think of it? Because in-universe, some... Is it Jirachi? Is Jirachi asking the player characters just like, here's a bunch of arbitrary questions and what's your gender? <laughs> So it's entirely possible that Jirachi is just like, I don't know what humans are supposed to look like. What do you say? And then like a trans person would be like, oh yeah, this. <laughs> and now my, now my brain just went, oh my God, Jirachi made them sizz. Thinking about transformation in this way is kind of odd to brain. <laughs> the wish. Like, that's the only thing I can think of because Jirachi... Because it is my current headcanon unless post... Uh, wrong button. <laughs> my expression button is going over the place. But it is my current headcanon unless post-game uh, says otherwise because it's entirely possible things get explained post-game because I've never played the post-game. But considering that Jirachi's wish, made by Bidoof, was, I wish there were some uh, junior apprentices that I could help guide, be explorers. Like, considering that Jirachi explicitly says two would come, and then the episode itself says, Bada Bing, Silas and Neon are pretty much the ones brought in by the wish. I wonder if during the, like, passage of time that Grovile and the human partner went through, if Jirachi's wish threw the human through time and space, transforming them into a Pokemon, so Silas and them would then go on to join the guild. So who knows? Again, post-game could actually add context, because we've yet to know beyond maybe implication of Jirachi, but it could be possible that the game further, like, more heartily slams down, no, 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 no. <laughs> this bastard's behind all that. Well, we've descended a quite a, a bit, quite a bit of ways, but we haven't caught up to chat out our team skull yet. This place, it's horribly hot and humid in here. Gah! Hey, I heard a voice over there. Let's go, Neon. Let me guess, chat out got bitch smacked. Oh no. Okay. Wow, it's Team Skull! Oh, oh, oh. What happened to you guys? Oh, no way! Were you attacked by a mysterious gang of enemies? Whoa, you knew it was coming. Would have been good to know that. Not that you tell us. <laughs> Skunk Tank, are you alright? <laughs> you find us at your mercy. And you're worried how we are. How sickeningly generous can you nitwits be? We're not about to walk away from anyone if they're hurt. <laughs> Your concerns wasted on us will be fine. That pompous chatot hair-eyed me up enough to keep me going. Uh, chatot did what? 
Here's what he did. That chat out came along after we got whacked out. When he spotted us down and out, he scolded us with all sorts of choice words. <laughs> after giving us the blistering tongue lashing, he went on his way. The things he said about us, I'm still seeing red. I'm so steaming mad that I refuse to give up here. I'm getting out of here if I have to crawl so I can deliver my pain back to that blasted chatot. But if you think about it, we were close to giving up when that chatot saved us by riling us up. <laughs> Even though you say you've been saved, you look like you're still in a lot of pain. <laughs> We've been bad to you two all this time. You went through downright rotten times because of us. But you two still can bring yourselves to worry about the likes of us. Yes, you did make us furious over this and that. But when we see you down and out like this, we can't just walk away. <laughs> hey, the relic fragment! <laughs> Oops. How unlike me. That relic fragment slipped out of my grip. <laughs> and I can't move yet. That Silas is going to steal it back. <laughs> Skunk Tank. I only dropped the relic fragment by accident. You're free to pick it up. Or not. Skunk Tank. Thanks. <laughs> Why, thank me. The next time we meet, we're going to be back to our old tricks of messing with you. <laughs> Besides, don't waste your time worrying about us. You should be worrying about Chatot instead. That's right. Where did Chatot go? He went deeper. He's going after those enemies. You two hurry up and go too. Thanks, Skunk Tank. We're going in deeper after them. Skunk Tank, be sure to get your team out. Don't give up. <laughs> I'll ask you to not patronize Team Skull! <laughs> we have to go, Neon. You two, can you move? Whoa! You can't be serious! <laughs> the way they trounced us, I'm just too wiped out. So that's it. Well, we must really look like a mess. <laughs> My chief, I like how you kept it to yourself until the very end. That you're a little bit of a good guy. You redeemed yourself. Shot it. <laughs> But I gotta say, Chief, there's something to be said about you doing that. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> oh. I kind of like that. I really like that. Doesn't fully redeem them, but it does kind of add a spark of flavor to them. Hey, Chadot! Hmm, you two. Be a lot! They're very close by. I saw their retreating figures when I gave chase. But I'd lost sight of them by the time I reached this spot. They must be lurking here somewhere. <laughs> Anti-hero energy. Kind of. They have a, an odd little bit of honor to them. But there doesn't appear to be any place to hide here. What is this? An odd sense of foreboding? There are only these rock walls around us. At one glance, I caught at them. I'm on the verge of remembering. 
That's it! When they attacked me last time, they seemed to appear out of nowhere! One second. Remember to drink your tea! Oh, be British! Oh. But where they really appeared from was... Oh, art time! Silas! Neon! Be careful! They're above us! What? What? I am Kabutops. And the Omastar Brothers. All trespassers need to be taught a lesson. Take that! Wah! Gah! Ch Chadot! What? Oh, I won't let you get away with this! How do you like that? That hero shielded his buddies with his body. That's not what I'd call smart. Hey, I remember. Kabutops. That hero's been here before. We knocked him out the same way, too. This is the second time he's done that. That really takes a whole lot of smarts. <laughs> oh, uh, say what you will. They are, are prized recruits. I won't let you harm them. Charot. Charot. <laughs> it's your turn next. Take this! I like that Chadot didn't at all hesitate to leap in front of the attack. Well, first things first, uh... Dang it, I'm a fool. I meant to use agility. Oh, hey, that guy's just fucking dead. Those Homestars stars are weak as fuck. A Do we really get that many extra turns with agility? That is impressive. See? We are the prize students. And then they just ran away. We just beat up, like, cavemen who could speak English. And we're like, you've entered my cave, I'm going to bash you. And then we just smacked him. And like, we run away! We just beat up Fred Flintstone. Chadot! How'd you move up ahead? Uh, uh, Chadot, are you alright? Stay with us! Chadot! Oh, Grovile! That boy's guild master. Wigglytuff! And Grovile, too! Guild master! Whoa! Grovile! What is Grovile doing with the Guildmaster? I'll explain later. This is more important. Chadot. Hey, hey! This is bad! Chadot is down! Golly, he's hurt! Chadot! Are you okay? Are you hurt? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm hale and hearty. As you can see. Chadot. I'm sorry, Chadot. If only I got here earlier. Please don't blame yourself, Guildmaster. But this is so humiliating to be knocked out by the same enemies again. That isn't true, Chadot. The last time we came here, you were knocked out, knocked out right away, Chadot. So you probably don't remember this, but that time... When Kabutops gang sprang at us, you shielded me from the attack, Chadot. Excuse me. I sent Kabutops gang packing right after that, but if it weren't for you jumping out to shield me, Chadot, I would have been knocked out on the spot. I owe my life to you. That's what happened. Chadot, you are my invaluable partner. These bitches so gay. I... 
am privileged to hear such words, Guildmaster. I'm such a happy Pokemon. <sighs> Whoa, Charot! Charot! Everyone stay calm. Yes, he'll live. He still has time. Get him back to the guild now. Well then, quick! Let's all go back to the guild. No. We will take Chadot back to the guild. But as for you, Neon and Silas, and you, Grovile, you three must keep going. But don't worry about it. Besides, if you don't go on from here, Chadot shielding you will have been for nothing. Uh, the strange pattern is up ahead. Now hurry. Thanks, Wigglytuff. We will continue onward. Let's go, Silas. Neon. Okay. Let's go, Neon. I like the final glance back. This made me feel better about Shadot. I still dislike him, but not like I'm gonna leave him behind. I think it's just that he's... Kind of stupid in certain things, but also very strict in certain things. It's just, it, it just so happens that we're the protagonists, and Team Skull have been skulking about ruining our day for a while. Good luck. Find the hidden land. But otherwise, when it comes down to it, Chadot is a bro. Grovile, how did you know to join us here? Wigglytuff brought me. What, Wigglytuff did? That's right. Wigglytuff had been looking for me. As soon as he found me, he asked me to go with him. He said you were close to finding the Hidden Land. It worked out fine because I planned to join you anyway. Plan to join us? Wait, does that mean... That's right. I've collected all the necessary time gears. Yes! All we have to do now is get to the Hidden Land. So let's find that place with the strange pattern now. I can already tell good art is coming. Wow, there's water here. There's been water for a bit, Silas. You, you silly bitch. Hold on, this is seawater. Look at that, Neon. I love this art. The cave's mouth opens wide to the sea. We couldn't see it from outside because it's in the shadows. It's true. The sea is visible beyond the rock walls. It's nearly evening. We didn't notice the time going by. We didn't even... I think we didn't even eat, like, more than two apples in there. The tide rises up here from the gap in the walls. Oh! That's... What? Neon, what's wrong? Cave art! Hey, look at this! Th this is... The same as the pattern on my relic fragment. Except bigger. I guess this is the same pattern that Shadot described. Let me bring out the relic fragment. Hey! The relic fragment! Wow, the pattern on the wall's glowing now! It's as if it's reacting to the relic fragment. Wah! Ooh. Laser beams. I like that. I like that a lot. What was that? A beam of light shot out to the sea. What's that out there? You burned out my retinas, you bitch. What? That's... Mickey Mouse? On a rowboat? It's coming closer. It's swimming. It looks like your average Legend of Zelda puzzle. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Silas, Neon, and Grovile, correct? You know our names? Yes. I was informed by Wigglytuff. W Wigglytuff told you? That pattern on the wall shot a beam of light across the sea. You appeared right after that. Can you tell me who you are? I'm Lapras. I'm the guide to the Hidden Land. You're what? You can take us to the Hidden Land? You unleashed the beam of light from the pattern on the wall. That is the signal for gaining entry to the Hidden Land. It is beyond the sea. Step on to my back. I will carry you across the sea. Don't be afraid. I'm exceptional. 
I can carry you all and more on my back. It's beyond the sea, the hidden land. Neon, Silas, let's go. Beyond the sea. Don't forget your relic fragment. Would you like to savor your adventure, Save? Yes. I'm just loving this game. It's so good. Chapter 19, To the Hidden Land. I just love this so much. The vibes are immaculate. Oh, Guildmaster. How's Cherot? Will he be all right? Yeah, he needs to sleep and recover tonight. I think he'll be fine tomorrow. Does this place even have hospitals? Yeah! I'm glad to hear that. Yep, yep, that's a load off my mind, by golly. Hey, hey, that's great. Chetot will be okay. Hey, hey! Guildmaster? What is it, son, Flora? Guildmaster, you said Chetot saved you at the cave long ago. Can you tell us about it? Yep, this is what happened. He saw it again. He did it again. He saw it before the last time, too. Guildmaster, watch out! Kabutops and his brutes attacked us without warning. Chanot reacted first and shielded me from them, and he got knocked out. I sent Kabutops' gang packing after that, but Chanot was knocked out. I didn't know what to do. I was in a panic because I couldn't help Chadot. That was when Lapras appeared. Lapras? Yep, Lapras. Lapras saved Chadot. Does he know heal pulse? <laughs> nope, nor does the Pokemon universe. Well, there obviously has to be some kind of hospital. Maybe they're just r roaming Blissey. Oh, I see. That's how you met Wigglytuff Lapras? For some reason, I expected there'd be like Wigglytuff and Chadot. But it didn't work. My brain knew yeah. Yes. I didn't intend to reveal myself at all. But I changed my mind the instant I saw Chadot on the ground. I simply had to help. Afterward, I made Wigglytuff promise me something. A promise? Yes. Hey, hey! So what was the promise? I think Lapras recognized that we were an exploration team right away. So he said to us that he couldn't tell if we were bandits with big ambitions or if we were an ex... Excuse me? Blair, my body is betraying me. <laughs> or if we were an exploration team with good intentions. So he asked, for the sake of the world's peace, that we please not investigate that peculiar pattern there. That's what he asked of us. So, what was your reply, Guildmaster? <coughs> Wigglytuff promised to honor my request most agreeably. He said he owed me thanks for coming to Chetot's aid, and that he would stop all investigations into the matter. So that's what happened. But why didn't you want anyone to investigate the pattern? In the hidden land is Temporal Tower, where Dialga reigns. Dialga feared intruders could wreak havoc at the tower that regulates time. Dialga decided to protect Temporal Tower... He hid the hidden land in a gap in time. A gap in time? Yes. It is hard to explain, but... It is a gap in time itself. It's the space between parts of a split second. I see. No wonder the place couldn't be found. A gap in time. No one could ever hope to go to such a place. Except maybe Celebi. No. Dialga left one key for entering the hidden land. That's a special fragment with a mysterious pattern etched into it. When I heard wise old Torkoal's tale, and when I saw Silas's relic fragment, I finally understood. I realized then that the peculiar pattern was linked to the hidden land. That's why I headed out to Brine Cave before everyone else went. Because I had to see Lapras. I met with Lapras and explained what was happening how time was stopping all over, and how the world was in peril. I also explained how the time gears need to, needed to be at, taken to Temporal Tower, so I asked him to reveal how he we could get to the Hidden Land. So, what happened? Lapras revealed it to me. He said that the Relic Fragment chooses who will go to the Hidden Land. 
The relic fragment itself does that? It chooses on its own? Yep, apparently so. And the relic fragment chose Silas. Hey, why did the relic fragment choose Silas? I don't really know. I think Dialga wants to prevent those with bad intentions in their hearts from entering Temporal Tower. That's why the important thing is the purity of heart. So Silas's heart must have resonated with the relic fragment. Anyway, we can do no more to help. From now on, this burden belongs to Silas and Neon. Its team lost light's weight to bear now. It's entirely up to them to get to the hidden land. It falls to them to stop the destruction of time. Actually, where's the town elder? We haven't seen him. That was Torkoal. He was the guy in the hot spring, and then he came over and be like, I remembered a little bit. There was a weird pattern. And then he got kidnapped by Team Skull. And then we didn't see him after that. He might be dead. They sold him to Shredder. <clears throat> Time to die, non-turtle soup. I have to do a weird thing with my frickin' Adam's apple to do that voice. Hey, Lapras? Yes? We've been swimming a long time. Are you doing okay? I'm fine, Silas. No need for concern. Because we're almost there. See, it's coming into view. What? On the far horizon. Do you see where the sea looks a little different? It's true. The waves. The waves are all twisted up. L Lapras, what is that? The edge of the gap in time. That is the portal through which we will go to the hidden land. This motif again! I hear you, game! This is the explorer team motif, I feel like. Love these songs! That is the portal through which we will go to the hidden land. More awesome art. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Lapras is going to fly! From this point on, all Lapras should be able to learn fly. The HM fly belongs to Lapras now. What? Lapras? Lapras is flying? No, that's not it. This, this isn't flying. We're crossing the Sea of Time! Love this song! This art, man! Is that it? Is that the Hidden Land? Yes, that's the Hidden Land. We're going in! So the Hidden Land is all that remains in the future, basically. Oh. I love this. I love... <laughs> it's fallen with style. Ain't it, though? I love this. The clouds parted over the hidden land. This... This is the hidden land. We finally made it here. Please, look ahead. Hey! What's that? Is that... Is that perhaps... Yes, it's Temporal Tower. And that's where Dialga is. That's where we have to go. The Time Gears have to be taken there. But if you take a close look, that place seems to be floating in the sky. I wonder how we're supposed to get there. You must take the Rainbow Stone Ship. The Rainbow Stone Ship? Yes, far ahead you will find the old ruins. There you will find an ancient mystical vessel, the Rainbow Stone Ship. It will take you to Temporal Tower. Thank you, Lapras. This is the extent of what I can do for you. From here, you're on your own. Good luck on reaching Temporal Tower. Okay. Grovile, Neon. We don't have far to go now. Let's keep it up. I love this. 
all of this is just utterly magical. The music, just everything, man. And that's precisely the amount that we could put in. I should have done more recycling. We have to go to Temporal Tower and set the time gears there. That'll put a stop to the destruction of time. We don't have far to go, Neon. First, we need to reach the Rainbow Stone Ship. And of course, let's save. I recommend you take everything. It's the final stretch now. Okie doke. Then let's... Well, first I'll check my items. I think we have a decent amount of... Dilly Ds. Hmm. I keep forgetting to take the protein. How many max elixirs? Hmm. I think I'll take one more max elixir, one more reviver seed, and stuff like that. Then again, I guess I could just take a bunch of Reviver Seeds. Oh, I love this music here. This is all very grand. Well, let's go. Hi, Neon. Are you ready? I don't know why, but I find that sweet. I like that he begins it with hi. Silas is a darling. Yes. Yes, looks like we're ready. Okay, let's go! I love this. Hey, Perogly! It's just all of this. All this is so good. <laughs> that is another thing. Yeah, both of our partners are here for this. The one of the future. Who went to the past with us to save all time. And the partner that found us. It's just, it's so good. It's just so good. This is why I just adore Mystery Dungeon stories. I'm not sure how hard it would hit if it wasn't Pokemon, because I'm a basic bitch, but this is just so good. I'm just so happy that these games are allowed to exist. Oh yeah, take my protein. I keep forgetting. Thank you. I don't know why. I don't know why I keep doing that. Let's see. First things first, what's the info? Permanently raises the uh, Pokemon's attack. Then that definitely goes to the boy. Silas, become strong. Now we can leave the orb, but we don't need orbs. Where we're going, we won't need orbs. No far spin for you, idiot. I... I also just realized... These are like pits of crystal. I love this. The artistry, the emotions, the fact that it's Pokemon. Oh, we need to kill you fast. How dare you? Just, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, Dragonite, why do you look darker than usual? Insert that Madagascar meme of... You can't... Or was... What was it? I know it's a meme, but I don't actually know from what... From whence. It's like, you can't just ask people why they're white. I'll wait here. And... Zippity za. I thought they were woods. Could be. It just... They're so bright. It could also be just like raised cliffs that have very vibrant teal grass. That's also possible. Because there are there are flowers there. It's just that in the segments I was walking past, they were all just super spiky teal things that made me think, like, that kind of looks like crystals. I love this music. The music feels like the calm before the storm. 
but like in a calming sense. Hey, Joy Ribbon. What does Joy Ribbon do? Does it just raise up their happiness? Converts damage to experience? Held item that earns the Pokemon experience when taking damage. Huh. Okay, grinding. I want some of this hand-painted pixel art. I just want to see it in my room. The, this art is utterly fantastical. It's just wonderful. I like the character, like, uh, not models, but yeah, pixel bodies. I like the, the, the portraits. I like a lot of the, just like so much everything, so much everything. It's only five XP, useless. That actually is quite useless when we're getting 460 a pop. Hello, Perogly. I'll slash you back. Oh, if you have slash, I have scratch. And now you die. Wait until you hear Temporal Tower's music. I love the bells in that track. We'll have to see. Because if there's one thing I can count on for Mystery Dungeon, it's the music. Although I guess I should preface Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Because I know that Mystery Dungeon is like its own thing. It's like I don't know. I just, I like it. I like it so much. Again, I feel kind of blessed that Mystery Dungeon was allowed to get so many games. Like, there has to be somebody in the Pokemon Company that are fans of Mystery Dungeon. For there to get this many entries in the series. Especially because if you think about it, well, actually, no. We're actually coming along to Mystery Dungeon's 20th anniversary, aren't we? Well, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon again. Because the first Mystery Dungeon game was released near the beginning of the DS with the split release of Blue and Red Rescue Team. Then Explorers of Sky was released in... Ba-ba-ba... 2009... Then throughout the 2010s were the releases for Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon. Just so much. I'm going to have to look up. Like, actually, I'm going to look it up right now. I want to know. When was Rescue Team released? I wanna know, I wanna know. Ba ba ba. Let's see. Uh, it was released in 2005 in Japan and 2006 for North America. I wonder if they'll do something special. Cause that's just next year. So yeah, oh, 20 years of Mystery Dungeon. God. I love this series. Just utterly fantastic. Just means that I need to get writing and drawing so that uh, the, there's a monster house or, or shop on this goddamn place. But... I am totally need to get good at making Pokemon Mystery Dungeon content because I want to be able to do cool shit for the 20th anniversary.
yeah, that's not worth it. I'm going to, well, first things first. I'm going to agility twice. And now I'm going to, uh, where is it? Because I have one. Uh, pure seed. Bye-bye. Nope. Not dealing with this. That's too many Pokemon for not enough reward. I leave. Bye-bye. Thank God that it isn't a gather your party before leaving. Uh... Black Isle Studios title. Like Icewind Dale. And I, I always want to say Baldur's Gate, like 1 and 2. But I think those were made by Bioware. Because I, I always know that kind of isometric... Uh, D and D RPG computer game style from uh, Black Isle Studio. Most people would probably say, "Oh, the style that's like the first two Fallout games." Me, it's Icewind Dale all the way. Oh, I also love the the music of Icewind Dale. That game, it's made by I think Jeremy Seol, who. Uh, also did, like, soundtracks like the... Ba -ba -ba. Also did, like, the soundtracks for the, uh... Basically all the Elder Scrolls games. Like, I'm trying to think, because the, there are, like, two... Composers... In the video game industry that I just absolutely love. One is Jeremy Soul. And the other is... I forget their name. But they did the soundtrack to, uh... I forget. Dark... Dark... No, not Dark Stalkers. It's Dark something. Not Dark Souls, not Dark Stalkers. It's that Zelda-esque... Like, uh, third-person action game where you play as... Death, the embodiment of death, trying to save his brother, War. He did uh, the music for that, as well as the uh, Assassin's Creed series. It was like, <laughs> those are like the two composers that always come to my mind when I think of good soundtracks. Mostly because I have a hard time remembering, like, uh, Japanese composers for some reason, because I am a fool. Music makes better atmosphere. <laughs> no need to change your mind, because you're correct. Music can make or break a game. Ooh, level 40 time. But yeah, music is very, very, very important to video games. Because while it do is like a complete package, where you need like, oh, you need decent, you need good graphics in, in that they need to have good styling and be pleasant to look at, or at the very least, be interesting and fit the thing you're working with. And then, you need the gameplay so people want to play the game, but then the music can wrap scenes together. Music can make or break the atmospheric everything of a game. So if you're, like, making, like, a super action-y game, music could be very important. If you're making a horror game, music and the lack thereof can be important. And if you're making a story-based game, once again... Music can make and break the atmosphere of you telling that story. It's very, very, very important. And plus, good music can make your game stick in people's brains for years upon years after they've already played the game. In the end, you just need to make a complete and fun package out of your video game. Sure, there are some that kind of 
get by without it like uh, The Last of Us. I don't really hear anybody comment on The Last of Us's music. Ooh, level up for Silas, too. I leveled up. I'll do better now. That you will, my boy. That you will. Yeah, there are some games that just a lot of people don't really talk about in terms of music. Yet they still talk about it because other things. Like also look at Undertale. Undertale is frickin' fantabulous. It has some great music. I should probably ingest a Max Elixir. Use my stab attack more. Yeah, in the end, I kind of wish that I could make music, but music also feels like it would be a difficult thing like to get into when I also want to get into like so much else. Like, I want to do stories. I want to do writing. I want to do uh, drawings and art. I want to do all these things. And then do music on top of it. I feel like I'm being greedy and all my wants to do things. Yeah, even though Super Mario Bros. Wii is old, I still remember head bopping to the ba ba sound when it comes out. Because I think, like... Because there's probably a difference in, like, some games. Like... A game can become legendary without, like, good music, but good music is what makes a game's or franchise's iconic. I don't think you can have an iconic game without good music. I mean, I guess it's still possible, it's just much harder. Master one skill before the others, Neon. But my brain! At the very least, I can, like, focus on the easier ones. Like, writing, writing is kind of quote-unquote mastered for me. It's mostly just refining it and refining by doing, basically. Whereas my art, definitely need to put more time into mastering that. According to Lapras, the old ruins lie beyond this dungeon. That's where we should find the Rainbow Stone Ship. If we find the Rainbow Stone Ship, we'll take that to Temporal Tower. Let's go on. <laughs> Just focus on the one at a time. But then my brain will eat me alive. We all have the aspirations we can achieve in our life. Eh, it depends. It's mostly about, like, effort you put into it as well as... ba ba ba. Like, opportunity and then applying yourself. Because I think that just about anybody can, like, learn writing and art. It just comes more easily to some than others. And then sometimes it's not even about, like, getting traditionally good at writing or art. But rather, finding a way to make your writing and your art and finding an audience that appreciates your writing and your art. I think that's mostly it. Because, of course, there will be, like, the aspirations of, oh, I want to make a story that becomes a big budget blockbuster, but, like, that's highly unrealistic. But then if, if it's just self-publish a book, self-publish a comic, in this day and age, anybody can do that. And really, it's about doing it and doing it until you get good. Because, like, look at the absolute meme of a comic that is Control-Alt-Delete. You know, the Lost comic. The comic that everybody utterly rips into, and there's basically a rule that if you cut away 90% of the word balloons, it becomes funny. Apparently, later on, that guy got insanely good at art. 
and like expanded on the story and where it went to insane degrees. He still kept at it even after being mocked and derided and he got like the art that I saw of like one page of his serious story, apparently. I'm not sure how good the story is, but the guy kept at it and got good at something. As well as have the motivation to do to him. Exactly. It's all about having the determination, the will, and just applying yourself. Because my problem is, I get stuck in a loop of, I want to do this. But my brain will attack me, but I want to do this. So I don't get a lot done when I want to. It's kind of like, a, I think I heard the term be like, ADHD-induced executive dysfunction. I think that YouTube short that I saw, making a jokey joke skit. That's too relatable. That's how that went. It's kind of like that. I don't know if that's actually what it is, because I don't know if I have ADHD. But I don't know. But yeah, I just get stuck in a loop of, I want to do it, but brain hurts me for, for trying in weird ways. Like, originally, like, brain was like, oh, I'm not good enough. But then I started to get over that. And now brain is like finding different ways to make me doubt my art. Basically, when it comes to making your story your art, you kind of need to be selfish. You want to be able to do it for yourself and be able to say, even if nobody else sees it, if nobody else cares, I did it for me. Like the Control-Alt-Delete guy. <laughs> he kept on going. He improved his art beyond belief, apparently. Unless that's like an internet lie. Like, there's always that slight itty-bitty bit of possibility that somebody's taking the piss, but I feel like I've heard it just enough of people like, wow, that Control-Alt-Delete guy, he actually still kept going and got decent at art. Again, not sure if, like, the story got good, because I think it did, like, go from hee-hee-ha-ha -ha gaming comic joke joke to actual story time. But I do not know. I do not know at all. I'm just throwing... This is why I have random factoid brain. My brain throws out random facts. Is it... There are no sources here. There are no sources in this brain. My brain is my own personal enemy. I think that's most people. There are some people who are able to get along with their brains, of which I envy them. But me, my brain really likes to... ba 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 really likes to attack me, make me doubt myself. And I need to get over that and just make art for me, make my stories for me. Although I am kind of already in the make stories for me segment, I just really, really like it when people, like, leave comments. Because while you, like, while I do believe that you should make art for yourself, make your stories for yourself, and then hope that once you go along far enough, you'll find your niche, you'll find your audience who appreciate what you are making for yourself and will partake with you. There is also the absolute joy of sharing. Like, just take me playing this game on this stream, for example. The act of playing this game and, like, voice acting the characters is a fantastic time and really heightens the fun that I have with this game, and heightened the fun that I had with Ace Attorney. Because I'm certain that I would have been fine enough and had a good enough time with, like, Ace Attorney, or playing uh, these here Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games again. But being able to, like, have a greater purpose for it, like, again voice acting the characters, having a chat to talk with about random thoughts, hearing them say like, ha ha, that was a funny jest that you did make, funny streamer man. It just gets it's, it's happy times. My brain also is a revolver that takes any ammunition. It doesn't matter what the conversation is. Exactly. The brain is evil. Wow. Th this place is... Hey, it's Mew. The MILF of the Pokemon universe. Kyogre and Groudon. This is cool. It's incredible. Look at it, Neon. 
Look at all these fantastic paintings and inscriptions on the walls. Palkia and Dialga. Like Lapras said, this place is the old ruins. The Rainbow Stone Ship should be up here. Yep, let's. that's right. Let's go in there. What? What is this place? I'm not sure myself, but I would imagine it must be the temple of the old ruins. Let's head up these stairs. Let's look at the door. This place looks familiar. Like, I swear we've cut to this sometime. Maybe it was in the opening. It could have been in the opening. No Garantina, she's the oldest sibling, I swear. Then again, that would also go along with the... We must push Giratina into the distor... <laughs> Let's take Giratina and put her in the distortion world. This appears to be the top. Hey, look here! This strange pattern is here too. There's a small indentation in the middle. I wonder what it's for. Oh, what's that? More, uh, Pokefoot ru runes? Hmm, what is it, Neon? There's a stone tablet. There seems to be something inscribed here. What are these? These strange runes. This is inscribed with unknown letters. Oh, English! It's written. It's written? It's written in an ancient language. Can you read it, Grovile? Yes, I've researched extensively to learn about this. Really? Great! Quick, read it! Don't be so impatient. Give me a minute. Like, even I have an extremely hard time reading Unknown. I don't know why. The opening, yeah. yeah. So, Grovile? I've got it. It appears this place itself... This is the Rainbow Stone Ship. What? This is it? This is it? I don't know why I said it like that. Yeah, that's right. There's an indentation there. Here it is. Silas. This is where it goes. Fit the fragment with the strange pattern on it into the indentation. What? You want me to put the relic fragment in there? That's right. That will activate the Rainbow Stone Ship. We can ride it to Temporal Tower. That's what it said on the tablet. Really? Try it and see. Okay. I'll fit it into this hollow spot. That's quite enough of that. Uh, who's there? <laughs> of course they're here. The bastards. I always thought Giratina was more male Pokemon. They can be anything. <laughs> the legendaries, very rarely are they gendered, but then sometimes they are. Giratina can be Giratina. <laughs> the Sableye! <laughs> Dusknor, how did you get here? Oh, quite simple, actually. I had Master Dialga warp us here directly. After all, I knew that you would inevitably come here. Waiting here spared us the bother of having to search for you. Ah! <laughs> Unfortunately, you're coming back to the future with me. Sableye, take them to the dimensional hole. <laughs> Arceus, damn it, unknown, I can't read it. Even though it's based on English, I can't read it. Hey, there's the dimensional hole. Sableye, into the dimensional hole with them. Silas and Neon. Yes, I'm with you. Yeah! Well, well, you display some feeble resistance, knowing that it's futile. You expected anything less? <sighs> you leave me no choice. I'll simply defeat you here, then take you to the future. It makes no difference to me. Ah, uh, the odds are overwhelmingly stacked against you. How much resistance can you even serve up? 
Show me! Swarm them! Well, that's creepy music. I'll just, we'll, we'll just annihilate these guys and then leave Dust Noir alone. And this is some tense music playing. Oh, she, I'm cursed. At least I have reviver seeds, but Jesus. I guess I should start smacking you. And then the allies will take care of the Sableye. Get smacked, Dust Noir. The Trumpets, man! Now all your Sableye are gone. As well as your curse, apparently. Quit hitting me! And goodbye, Dust Noir! That was actually pretty easy. Thank you, Agility! I... 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 Refuse to lose! Um, so foolhardy, you dare to challenge me. For all the effort in the world, with your puny power, you had no chance of winning from the start. Ugh! Tusk Noir is truly tough. Don't give up. There's a way out of this. That's easy for you to say. Hmm. You've done admirably well for those as pitiful as you. But it's all over now. This is the end. The mouth on his stomach. It opened up. He's going to do something. Is he going to unleash a move on us? From that mouth on his stomach? Wait a second. The mouth on his stomach? Th that's it. This could work. What is it, Neon? What? Force our combined moves down his stomach. Is that possible? There's no time. It's our one shot, Grovile. Take this! Now go! Ooh, unique animation. We... We did it! Dusk Noise. Down. We've finally beaten Dusk Noir! Uh, it can't be! Uh, Lord Dusknoir! Lord Dusknoir was defeated! Uh, uh, Legged! Idiots, he's just gonna rise up again. Huh. Your Sableye ran off. You just have no luck attracting reliable allies. <sighs> Silas? What is it? Go to the top of the temple. Put the relic fragment in that hollow spot. I want you to check if the rainbow stone ship actually works. Meanwhile, Neon and I will be here to keep an eye on Dusk Noir. Okay, I'll go do that. Ooh, we're gonna have time to talk with Grovile? If the rainbow stone ship works, we can go to Temporal Tower. I hope it activates. <laughs> Don't move! Grovile, Neon, is this really, is this really what you want? If history is changed, we Pokemon of the future will disappear. Oh yeah, this that would happen, huh? Oh. Oh no, oh, oh. Oh, that's, oh. What? If history is changed... 
Pokemon of the future will disappear? It won't be just me. Both of you. Grow vile and neon alike. Since you come from a future that will cease to exist, you will both disappear too. Is that what you really want? If we change history, we'll disappear too? Is Tuskenwar... Is Tuskenwar telling the truth? Grovile! It's true, Neon. If we change history, we will disappear. Grovile! But that doesn't matter. If it means restoring time and bringing peace to the world. It's what I came to the past to do. Celebi too. She helped us knowing that she too will disappear if we succeeded. Even Celebi? Oh, if I recall when we were in the future. It doesn't matter if she get caught. Besides, if you would be so kind as to prevent the planet's paralysis, we'll finally be spared the agony of this world of darkness. My dear Grovile, I will devote my whole life to achieve that end. Emphasis on end? When Celebi said that she would devote her whole life, so this is what she meant. And Neon, you came with the same resolve. We came from the future fully accepting what would happen to us. But... The motif again. This music. The way you are now, you don't remember that resolve. I know this is coming as a great shock to you, but we have no choice in the matter either way. If we don't act, time will be destroyed. The planet's paralysis will begin to bring, to bring peace to this world. We have to disappear. Try to understand, Neon. So that's how it was. I came to this world with such a resolve. I came to this world to die, knowing that if we succeeded, we would disappear. But if we don't act, the destruction of time can't be stopped. That means we have to do it, even if that means I must disappear. Oh, this, this, this is hitting harder than even Rescue Team, because of Rescue Team, there wasn't really that much build-up to that, and now you have to go. This is throwing it right in your face, like, yeah. <laughs> and it also kind of makes sense, because we're meddling with time. Oh, I'm tearing up. Yeah, no, I'm not going teary. Uh, someone's cutting the onions here. Exactly, that's happening to me too. Jesus Christ. Oh, Neon. But there's just one thing. One thing changed for us by coming to this world. It's true that we had the resolve to complete our mission. That was true when we first came back to this world. But we had absolutely nothing to lose and nothing to go back to. But Neon, this changed for you when you became a Pokemon. You found a friend and partner in Silas. Silas looks up to you. If your partner found out that you might disappear, I'm sure Silas would be crushed. Silas has a good heart, but if the future is altered and you disappear, your partner will... Silas will be... left all alone. I finally understand. If I change history, I'll disappear. If I disappear, Silas will be... Silas. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Would you like to solve your adventure? Yes, please. Oh, Jesus. Well, I think we're going to go on quite a bit. We have to get to the end. A bit longer stream tonight. Oh. Here it is. It's the hollow spot. The relic fragment is supposed to go into this spot. That will activate the rainbow stone ship, Grovile said. It's worth a try. Silas placed the relic fragment in the hollow spot. Wow, it moved! It moved! W what was that? 
Silas has done it. That noise. It has to be the sound of the Rainbow Stone ship activating. I won't. You'll never change history. Grovile! So you shielded Neon Grovile? That's taken a heavy toll on you. Very well, you're going down first. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Tusk Noir, I'm... I'm taking you with me. We're going back to the future. What? Neon, it's up to you now. Kathosa! Time Gears! Okay, team! The Rainbow Stone ship's set to go! What? What's happening? Silas! This is it for me! I'm taking Dusk Noir back to the future! Huh? What? I can never come back here again! Watch Neon's back! Promise me! But. Take your place, Grovile? I can't! You must and you will! Because you can, Silas. You two are the greatest of combinations. God, unhand me! Release me! We're almost there. Quiet! Neon. Take care, Neon. I was lucky to have known you. Though the parting hurts, the rest is in your hands! Grovile! Sorry for the hold-up, Dusk Noir. Grovile. Why? Grovile. The sound of the Rainbow Stone ship. It's getting louder. The Rainbow Stone ship. It looks like it's ready to go. But, Grovile. Grovile. It's sad. I'm too sad to even move. But... Right. If we don't hurry. If we don't hurry, the Rainbow Stone ship might go without us. Grovile. Even though I'm sad, I have to do this. We'd better go. The time gears. The time gears. I I'd better gather them up. Wait for us in the future, Grovile. We'll stop the planet's paralysis. We'll change the future into a better world. A world in which Grovile can live happily. We won't fail. Uh, this part also stung for personal reasons. It is already hurting. We need an emotional support group after this. Yeah. But what Dusk Noir said. Is this really... Is this really what you want? If history is changed, we poke along of the future. We'll disappear. That's right. The motif. The fucking music box motif. If the future is changed, Grovile will disappear. And I will disappear too. Hey, Neon. The last thing Grovile said to you, Neon. Though the parting hurts, the rest is in your hands! His last words, parting hurts. I understand that feeling. I understand how it hurts. Grovile was partners with you for a long time, Neon. I think it must have hurt Grovile terribly to leave you. That may be what he meant, but no, that isn't it. Grovile's last words, 
They weren't about me and Grovile. He meant me and Silas. Grovile said what he did because he knew that I would have to leave Silas eventually. When history's changed, I'll disappear. My time together with Silas is ending. This is our last adventure. Hey, Neon. We have to do this for Grovile's sake. Let's go to Temporal Tower. Ooh! Final chapter. The Last Adventure. Oh, it's getting louder. It's about to move. Let's get on it, quick. What? Oh my god, the writing is so much better than Rescuers. Rescue team is good, but... Uh. Hey, look at that. Temporal Tower. Finally. We're finally on our way. We're going there. Even though it's not my adventure, I'm still getting teary-eyed. That just so shows how much of a good freaking story this is. I kind of like the hesitation of leaving the stone ship like the character, like, gauged the jump. We're nearly there, Neon. There's no turning back now. Hey, up there. The top of Temporal Tower is glowing red. What could that be? Let's hustle! Ah! The architecture's great. The music is hurting me. This is the entrance to Temporal Tower. Wow, the, the ground's shaking! Did it settle down? What was that tremor anyway? Hey, that reminds me! Groval once said something about this. He said that time started going out of control everywhere because Temporal Tower began collapsing. It's that tremor we just felt. Temporal Tower could be collapsing as we speak. We have to hurry, Neon! This music. It's the same motif. This soundtrack is so, so utterly good. We're going all out. Wait. It's playing Fugitives. I think a little bit there. I don't know. I'm just... These are just emotional. I'm just emotional. Wait, not yet. Because... Okay. Well, go when you're ready. I don't know. It, every single time emotional music happens, my brain just goes, Is that Fugitives? Oh. Are you ready, Neon? Let's go, Silas. Okay. We're all set to go. Okay. Off we go! Jesus Christ. I love love all of this. Honestly, we all would hesitate doing this. I mean, just think that, like, a decent amount of people would be swayed by Dusk Noir's words. I probably should have brought more max elixirs. This is an amazing, masterful game.
And, like, even if, like, gameplay, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Even if there were, like, a broken base over the gameplay changes for later games, I could see people still going about, res about explorers being the best purely on story and character. My, uh, by far my favorite track in the game. The bells really do do it, don't they? I really also like, like, the whistle. Personally. The bells and the whistle bring it all together. The tinkling bells, the heavy bells, the whistle, flute... I need to learn the composer's names of this game. It's just so utterly good. <laughs> How dare you? Because I also like, because the music feels like it's building. While also still being adventurous and beckoning you on. It's just so good. And again, the fact that this is the motif of like... What is Embargo? A flex targeted enemy with an Embargo status condition. Can't use items. Well, that's useless to me. <coughs> but yeah, the fact that this is the motif for just the Explorer team. This is the explorer's motif. And it's just so good. It also only seems to happen in relation to like other like uh, when it comes to like time stuff, when we're in the future, when we're talking to Grovile and stuff. That's when this motif happens. When we're here in the temporal tower of time. Well, that's not very nice. Did I bring a piercing along by, by the by? I think I didn't. Oh wait, no, I did. Uh, well, first things first. Um, I'm gonna put two agilities on, and uh, now I'm gonna use a piercing. Bye. We found the music box yet? I don't think so. There's a music box? Oh, you mean like the, uh, like the title of the OST? I don't think so. Like as an item, because I know the music box was an item in like a uh, rescue team. But I don't know. Is this dungeon floor really just two rooms? Game, will you fuck off and let me leave? All right, <laughs> luckily it doesn't automatically force confusion on you again if you step onto it. That's a nice quality of life feature. Thank you for surviving, Silas. The trap was bull. We 
don't need that because I'm a, I'm a quick orb. But yeah, kind of weird. Uh, a two, a, a two diddly dee dum dum. Okay. I guess they decided to give me a bit of uh, kindness after throwing a monster house at me. I mean, I could have probably taken them, but I would rather not risk my reviver seeds because the boss fight's coming up. Love the music. Love it all. Get out of here, little bronze war. Get out of here. Just so good. The music just fits this entire thing so utterly well that it's just wonderful, wonderful. Da, da, da. I'm just going to keep throwing rocks at you. I may be confused, but I can throw rocks. I'll eat an orange berry then if I have one. You know, I probably should have done that as well. Get out of here. Level up time for the boy. Awesome, I leveled up. I kind of like that Temporal Tower has a variety of, like, floor-level difficulty. Some feel like they're late-stage dungeon difficulty, while others feel like they're super early, which kind of fits, because this is the Tower of Time. That's just rude! We spawned inside a monster house that has the stairway in it! How is that legal? No, seriously, how is that legal? Let's just annihilate these guys one by one. Maybe this is the game telling me, hey, level up. A lot. <laughs> At least all of them were weak to me, so I could, like, decently annihilate them. Just want to make sure. Ah, dang it, he's gonna die. And one Reviver Seed down. Didn't realize that he was getting that low of health. Oh, hey, a Black Gummy. I'm not going to be able to enjoy this when we get back. Because there isn't going to be a get back. Get out of here. And then I'll devour one of our max elixirs. And that was all with him having bonus stats because of the carried items. To boot. And now we get the cool music back again, because... The game is mean. And keeps replacing it with Monster House music.
Yeah, that was just mean. They threw me into a monster house with the exit in it, so it was unavoidable. But <gasps> are we there? Oh, just halfway point. Or maybe this is the clock ticking. We've climbed a long ways up. How much farther is it to the top? Mwah! Another tremor! That tremor was powerful. It must be getting worse. The tower must be falling apart faster. I'm not sure it's... I'm not sure it's true, but... If Temporal Tower regulates time like Lapras said, then if the tower collapses, our planet's paralysis will begin. So let's hustle, Neon. Ooh. Funky music beginning. Temporal Spire. Kill this guy. I enjoy the, like, familiar instruments that are being used. And the motif is still there. Love it. We're in too deep to end. Yep. At least this isn't going to be like the finale to Ace Attorney. We're not going to be going for seven hours. We're just going to go for maybe four. The violin there. Love it. The ticking clock, the instrumentation. And even the, like, the very low digitized choir that really always reminds me of Rescue Team's Farewell. Just... It's all coming together. I came back to the VOD and was like, holy, for the Ace Attorney. I can imagine! Because it was always just like, oh, I'm sure the ending's just around the corner. It was not. It was a very, very long corner. But it's not like I could stop because, like, it all fit together so good and it's just like a fucking seven-hour VOD. Donging bells. Personally, I think this should have been like the first part of the spy or like the tower, and then the first song. Well, then again, this part. This part is what makes this worthy of being like the second half of the sp of the tower. It's like your destiny coming all the same, no matter what. Yep. Not to mention, it's also the ticking of the world's time. Where if we don't hurry up, if we don't do this, the world's time will come to an end. And all of time will freeze. The world becoming paralyzed. It's a ticking clock in multiple ways. I just ought to... 
Well, that's just cruel, game. Once again, a second monster house right where it shouldn't be. Well, that's just mean. At least I can one-shot some of these guys. Just realized what I should have been doing. I should have been using my pursuit. I guess I'm gonna be going down. I'm gonna quickly come over here, Silas. You can do that again. Alright, now that we're here, well, well, I was gonna move anyway. Pursuit! Alright, you scare me, die! Boggity. Final Orin Berry. Well, luckily, there's like most ways that I can hit up in here. God, you're annoying. I would like to play the game. I would like to... Let me play the goddamn game! Jesus fucking Christ game! Seriously! That's just way too many in my opinion. I wish my partner's AI was less stupid on that front. Because I think we're out of Reviver Seeds. But I'm gonna be able to use them. Yeah, we're out of Reviver Seeds here, I think. Nope, we have, a, like, a, one more. Why does it feel like agility only does things sometimes? Damn you. And now we have no reviver seats for the boss. Oddly enough, the boss is probably going to be infinitely easier than that was. Which is just very stupid. I do not think that the, the boss should be easier than what just happened, but that is how it's going to be. Oh, hey, we have another reviver seat at least. Because my inventory is mixed up. For a moment, I thought, oh, did we get to the top after that? No, it's just... Game, are you fucking me right now? I should have brought more pure seeds, but it, why is this a thing? This shouldn't be a thing that happens. You shouldn't be able to. God, that's so utterly brain dead. I'm sorry, but no. You should not be able to spawn in a monster house. That should just be illegal. And 
keeping that defense forward because they get all their billion turns. It's just... It's so not fair. It just isn't. And now we have no Reviver Seeds. Because, you know, that's fucking fair. We're gonna lose because the game bullshitted us. I'm sorry, but that's just fucking stupid, game. That's fucking stupid. That wasn't good. Yeah, because it's fucking stupid, and it took away all my Reviver Seeds. So I might as well just reset to get my Reviver Seeds back, because fuck you, game. I'm sorry, but no! That is just not how that works, game. That is illegal. Swear to fucking God. Spawning me! in the goddamn rooms like that. That's just not fair. Jesus fucking Christ. Not to mention it also felt like my agility was just being ignored there. I'm supposed to be able to move like four times before any of them could move. That's what its agility is supposed to do. At least that's what it does for the enemies. Whenever they get super fast, they just turn, turn, turn. When it's my turn, apparently I only get one. What's a dough seed? It also doesn't help that it's just like it was monster house after monster house after monster house when they're so rare for so long. It's either they don't exist or there's five billion of them in a row. I think the rules of monster houses should be just like, they should never be in the same room as an entrance exit. And they should never, ever be spawned on top of the player. It's that simple. Because at least if I was at least like walking around and I walked into it, I could maybe agility my way to run away. And then they might just do something. It's just like, Jesus Christ, game. Why you have to ruin the fields with your stupid bullshit? At least the good music is back. That's another thing. The monster houses also take away the good music, which is a sin. Execution. Okay, is this Oren? Yep. A instead of E. I shall replace with Pekka Scarf. Let's -a go. Pure seed. Oh, pure seed. Definitely want one of you. That way, if that happens again, we can have a get out of jail free card ever so slightly. It's like the game understood, like, oh, we fucked up. Here, have a get out of jail free card. At least the dungeon itself seems to be relatively, like, small and quick. So it's not, like, terrible. It's just annoying. Why? How dare you take one, two, three damage? Only one, two, three damage, like a coward. Your arithmetic is terrible and you will die alone in this tower. Like, who even are these guys? Get schmeck. You can thunderfang all you want. Okay, that's just bullshit. Can you please die? I hate you. The enemy shouldn't be able to slow me down. 
They should instead die, if they even so much as look at me. Put up your gyro balls and die. I just want to stand there and heal. <laughs> Use the power of time to heal me, as time is dying. Although it does seem that we're healing at a decent pace just by walking around. I'm not going to risk running into a goddamn monster house again. Get obliterated, idiot. I hate Discharge as a move. It feels a bit stupid if you ask me. Especially because it's a multi-hit room move, which just doesn't feel nice. Get out of here and die. Jerks. Another Reviver Seed. Oh, well, you see, I can also do that. And then I can kill you in one hit. You can have this here. Diddly D. Floor 10. Six items on this floor. Horrifying. <laughs> Embargo all you want. You'll still die. Who gave you the political power to embargo me? Warp seed doesn't really matter. Discharge is so annoying. What shall we give away? Zinc band for another orange berry. Dang it, I'm a fool. I meant to select normal, but the game was mean. So I basically died right before it because of monster houses and didn't run into a single one on the final run. The, the, the RNG is stupid. I feel like it should be like the monster houses should be spread around more in the RNG. Why are, is it just clustered like that? That's evil. Is this, is this the top of Temporal Tower? Well, ah, lightning! Look at the sky, Neon. It's artistic. It's incredible. Red clouds are swirling. Whoa, it's happened again. This tower feels like it's going to shake apart at any moment. Let's hustle, Neon. Look over there. It's a place to put all the time gears. The real question is then, why were the time gears taken out? What could this be? It has a strange mystical feel. There's a big circular circular pattern. Inside are indentations that look like they've been gouged out. What is this? Uh, wait a second! Gouged out indentations. There are five in all. Five slots. That means... Remember to stay hydrated. That's what the indentations mean. What? Five slots? Th that's it! If I set the five time gears into these five slots, we might prevent time from stopping! Okay, I'll do it! Blah! Ain't gonna be that easy. What? It turned dark all of a sudden! So, it is you! You seek the destruction of Temple Tower. What? You're wrong! 
We're here to prevent time from stopping. Time stopping. Time. Dialga. What he roared. You. You dare bring ruin to the tower. No, that's wrong. We want to prevent the tower from collapsing. Silence! Rawr! For all those who threaten Temporal Tower, I will show no mercy. It's no use, Nihon. He's not listening to us at all. Dialga is losing control because time is breaking down, but this isn't like Primal Dialga in the future. He's not fully consumed by the power of darkness. There's still a chance that Dialga can be brought back to reason. There's still hope. Here he comes, Neon. Also, I kind of like that we've only fought an illusionary Groudon and one of the, like, lake tr This song. But yeah, this is basically our only, like, our first real legendary fight. I think I should have a sleep seed. Oh, he already woke up. That's bullshit. Also, that's weird. The move failed. Never seen that before. Good job. Oh, but he, but he had his counter up. Or did that move fail as well? That would be mean. Intimidator IQ skill. That's kind of mean. Go ahead and up my agility again. Intimidator is mean. <laughs> too bad I killed him too fast. Intimidator is all he had. But yeah, that song, it used the motif again. It used the motif again, and I loved it. Dialga has no time for sleep. He can control when he wakes up. I can see it. We did it. Okay, Neon, it's time. While Dialga is still down, I'll go put in the time gears. This tremor is the worst it's been. The temporal Tower is... The temporal Tower must be nearing total collapse. If that were to happen, the destruction will accelerate until the planet is fully paralyzed. Ugh, I've got to hurry. Uh, the floor's heaving. It's hard to put the time gears into place. Done. They're all set. Oh, that's cool. It fixed up. Blah! Why? I put the time gears where they're supposed to be. Why won't those trimmers stop? It can't be. Was I too late? Will Temporal Tower continue to collapse? Is it too late to stop the planet's paralysis? This is... Well, Dialga's gone. Where? Silas! Uh, uh... Hey, Neon. Where? This is Temporal Tower. 
Dialga! You have no cause for alarm. I have regained my reason. What? Temporal Dower has taken heavy damage, but it has survived. Now observe. This is... Dialga must be showing this to us. He must be using telepathy to do so. This... It must be Tree Shroud Forest. But it's not the same! We were in Tree Shroud Forest! Time was stopped! Time is... Time is moving again! It's Treasure Town! Everyone looks so happy. We did it, Silas. We saved everyone. Even if the tower's a bit borked. It's Temporal Tower. It seems to be badly damaged, but it's still standing. Temporal Tower didn't collapse. It survived! Temporal Tower survived the crisis. Time has returned to normal here. Thus, time has resumed in places where it had stopped. Because you stopped the ruin of Temporal Tower, the planet's paralysis has been prevented. The world's peace has been restored. Really? We did it, Neon! We finally did it! We brought peace to the world! Allow me to thank you. I thank you for reaching the Hidden Land. You had the courage to stand up to me, even as I raged out of control. And you prevented the ruin of Temporal Tower in the nick of time. Thank you. All this I owe to you. Dialka. But all is not yet as it should be. It will take time. I must see to the repair of Temporal Tower. The Hidden Land, too, has been ravaged. But the Rainbow Stone Ship should still be operable. And Lapras should be awaiting your return. Okay. Let's go home, Neon. Back to Treasure Town. Would you like to save your adventure right before heartbreak? What's the matter, Neon? Let's hurry. My body feels heavy. What's wrong? Why am I struggling to move? It's like my legs are weighed down. Maybe? Maybe, now that we changed the future, my own disappearance is drawing near. Tremors! It settled down. I guess things are still settling back to normal. Let's go, Neon! Uh, this is life. Okay, finally. The time has finally arrived. My time with Silas ends now. Hey! Neon! Huh? Neon? What is that? What's wrong with you? Sorry, Silas. I kept this to myself for a long time. It looks like I have to say goodbye. What? Goodbye? What do you mean? Tusknor told me. If we change the future, the Pokemon from the future would disappear. That's why I'm destined to disappear too. Huh? What? Why? Why? I don't understand! Thank you for everything. I'm going to disappear from here now. But Silas... I'll never forget you. 
Wait a second. I only made it this far because you were with me, Neon. Y you don't understand. Don't you understand? You made me strong, Neon. If you go, Neon, I... I don't know what I would... No, Silas. You have to be strong on your own. You have to live. You have to go home. Tell everyone about what happened here. So that nothing like this happens ever again. Ugh, Neon. The light. The light is getting brighter. Don't, Neon. Don't. Don't go. Thank you for everything, Silas. I'm glad we got to train together at the guild. I'm glad we got to go on adventures together. I'm glad I got to know you, Silas. Hey, Neon. I'm sorry. I'm so lucky that you were my friend. I feel the same, Neon. To me, Neon, you're more important than anything. Yes. I feel the same way. Silas, even after I disappear from here, I will never forget you. Neon! 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 Oh! I have to live. I have to get home alive. Get home. And tell everyone about what happened. Because it's Neon's. It's Neon's. Last wish. There's... There's the Rainbow Stone ship. The way that he kind of stumbled as a sprite instead of just going straight there. towers getting farther and farther away and neon I'm getting farther away from neon oh neon god and so neon and silas finally succeeded in their mission and saved the world from disaster. Silas departed from Temporal Tower, traveled across the ravaged hidden land, rode Lapdris across the sea, and safely returned to Treasure Tower. They're all going to ask. But where is the Zorua? Upon returning to the guild, Silas told everyone about the adventure, about what happened in the Hidden Land, about what took place in Temporal Tower, about Grovile, and about Neon. Of course, Silas also spoke of how the destruction of time was stopped and how the world was restored to peace. Silas told the story whenever and wherever possible to as many Pokemon as possible. It was a story that had to be told. It was a story of hope for world peace. It was a story of hope for future peace. So months passed. Treasure Town returned to its cheerful routines. The scars from the planet's injury slowly healed, and life gradually returned to normal.
Huh? Howdy, Silas. Going out? Yeah. Out for a walk. Sounds nice. Yep, yep. It'll be dinner time soon, though. You don't want to be late for that. Okay. Understood. And the crab are back, blowing bubbles at sunset, just like they were doing at the start. We haven't seen these bubbles in a while. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. I haven't seen this for a long time. It's as beautiful as I remember. It's just been too busy to come back and see it. But I've missed this fantastic sight. I wonder when it was when I last saw this. The last time was... Oh. The last time I saw this, it was when, when I met Neon. Oh, don't hit me with the flashback! Ah, someone's collapsed on the sand! What happened? Are you okay? The view is like this, that time too. The crabby blowing those bubbles along the beach. I noticed someone right here. Neon was unconscious. That was when Neon and I, that was when our first adventure began. Where it all began. Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? I'm convinced that I can form an effective exploration team with you, Neon. So, will you? Please? Oh, my stomach growled. <laughs> Your stomach growled too, Neon. We must have worked up a big appetite. We are so focused on rescuing Azuril that I didn't notice at all. <laughs> but now I'm even hungrier. Come on, let's go get dinner, Neon. I'm putting my faith in you, Neon. Yes, I totally believe in you, Neon. It made me realize I made the right decision in joining an exploration team. One day... I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my relic fragment. That's the dream I have. If it ever came true, I'd surely faint from sheer happiness. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> this is scary. But we need to be brave. And I need to face up to this. There's no giving up now, Neon! Are you taking in this view, Neon? This is so magical. Hey! There's a break in the rope! Now! Attack! Go! Blah! Neon, thank you. You tried to pick me up because I was feeling down. Let's always do our best, Neon! So let's go for it! Let's jump into the quicksand pit, Neon! Let's go, Neon! Onward to Azelf's Lake! Neon... We have to... We have to get back! Back to our own world! Hey, Neon, we have to do this for Grovile's sake. Let's go to Temporal Tower! I remember it all so fondly. All those memories of my time with Neon. Memories of Neon. But now, Neon is gone. And Neon isn't here anymore. 
Pourquoi? Silas! You've been gone so long, I, I took to worrying about you. What's the matter? Spiroof! Spiroof! <laughs> what? What's all this? What's the matter? God damn it! Oh! And the music, the motif. Oh! All them! Oh! Oh, that hurts! Oh! Yep, the opening main theme. Oh. Oh. Frick it ends with. Silas crying into Bidoof. Oh. God. Damn it. Well, I guess give my thoughts. Aside from the monster houses and the difficulty of, like, Bidoof Star Cave Adventure. This is a freaking masterpiece. I don't really, I don't think this is too cheery of music. I think this is, like, triumphant. But the way it was introduced makes it feel a bit melancholy. In a way. Like, it's bombastic but has just a hint of melancholy to it. But yeah, again, God, this is so much better than Rescue Team. I like Rescue Team. Rescue Team was a very simple game with simple characters and a simple story. But this one just went all in. Fleshing out the characters surrounding you in characters that, like, appear more often. Because, sure, you had, like, uh... I forget it. The the green pod Pokemon. You had Caterpie. You had Team ACT. And like Zatu in Rescue Team. But here... Oh, and also Shiftry. But here you had the guild. You had... Uh, just Metapod, yeah. I mean, it stung like a knife. Felt extra sharp due to personal reasons. I can only imagine. God, I actually shed tears. Again, the only reason I didn't just break down sobbing was because I had to focus on voicing the characters. You could probably tell for a decent bit there that my voice was wavering. God. But yeah, this... This is the best Pokemon game. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is literally the best Pokemon game because, like, diddly dee. <laughs> Not to mention Gengar. To be fair, I was mostly thinking of, like, all the characters that were there to see you leave. Meanwhile, this one is far more personal because it focused on you and the partner. As well as, like, Grovile and stuff. Salute to Saturo Wada. It's on your voice. You did phenomenal work, man. Thank you. Oh. Ease my soul with post-credits, you fucking bastards. Oh. Also, the real old one was named Shane. Yeah, because I played Rescue Team way, way back, named Shane Trico, was basic bitch, and made Shane the Rialu. But then this one was like, I'm going to make him his own person, and now it's Silas. Uh. Silas, when you left here, 
when you bid farewell to this place from the Rainbow Stone ship, your sorrow. I felt its intensity even here. And if that is how you feel even now, and if Neon were to share those feelings, I will grant your wish. The world needs you both. That is why I will trust you with a gift. I leave to you the future. This is my thanks. Please accept it. All the music again. I'm already tearing up again. Oh, so sweet. End. Oh. God. Again, best Pokemon game. Best friggin' one, and we can continue. We can, there's post-game to do. Oh. Perfect ending? Definitely. I know some people be like, oh, we, we brought it back, undercut the ending. No. No, that, that, high, that, that heightens the ending to me. Okay, just quickly gonna say it. Next time, we're... I know there's special episode to do. Uh, here comes Team Charm. I'm sorry, we have to continue next time. I have a feeling I am emotionally destroyed. Again, just, just the, like, the no dialogue. No dialogue, just the implied Bidoof going, <gasps> and pointing out, Silas behind you. And Silas taking a moment to realize it's true, run up so happy, and then just collapse. Made me tear up again. I was tearing up during Grovile's sacrifice. I was tearing up just through all this. Basically, once we got to the story parts at Hidden Land, I was borderline tears the entire way through. Oh. But yeah, again, best Pokemon game best Pokemon game. It's not a traditional Pokemon game, but it is a Pokemon game that focuses on Pokemon and tells the best damn story that I have experienced in Pokemon so far. If I had to choose a quote-unquote mainline Pokemon game, it would be Legends Arceus. And honestly, I... <laughs> like, honestly, I think my rankings for Pokemon Top 3, number 3 is Rescue Team, number 2, Arceus, number 1, R Explorers of Sky... This is just so good. The music, the graphics, the story, the characters. Like, that's again, I like Rescue Team's story. It's nice and basic, but the fact that this one managed to keep going, managed to just go, and, like, pa the pacing was so good. It built up tension. It let you, like, get, it, get to know characters, introduce new characters, and, like, even Team Skull being utter bastards, though they were. Like, they were there throughout the entire thing. It's just it's so good. It was just so good. Ugh. Oh. Once again, thank you to the people behind the expanded Sky ROM hack. Once again, link to it is in the description of the YouTube videos and streams. Next time, we are going to come back with more, because we are going... I have to see what happens next. I have to see... The interactions between Shane and Zorua Neon going forward. I have to see more. I have to see more. I cannot be done. I want more of this world. There will be more. Bleg. The name Shane was also the name of an old dog I had. <sighs> it's always kind of neat when that happens. Because like, there's so many names in the world. Little connections like that. Eking on through. But yeah... 
literally my only gripe with this game is maybe inventory, but it, that was because I didn't grind high-ranking missions to level up and increase my storage capacity. But this game, the special episodes are so well done. The main story is so well done. The graphics, the art, the music. This is just such a wonderful package. My only gripe is that the monster houses are kind of bullshit. Especially because I only ever ran into monster houses back to back to back and it hurt my soul. Ah. <laughs> uh. But I originally thought you would play as the partner since you were gone. That would have been depressing. Ah. Uh. Like, imagine if there was a playable epilogue where you played through those months having to bring along, like, other members of your team that aren't technically with the guild. Or maybe you could ask, like, Bidoof, Sunflora, and Loudred. It's like, hey, want to come on a mission with me? That could have been cool. But, like, God. Ugh. That would have, that would have been devastating. But at the same time, just for the pacing of the story and having, like, an uplifting post-credits, I'm, I'm thankful that they did that. I know too much and I can't say? Oh, no. A future game is going to fucking stab me to death. But... Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for now. Next time, we are going to skip Team Charm's episode. I am sorry, we have to get back to the... the, the po uh, we, ha we have to touch base with Lost Light again. I have to know what happens next, but I'm not going to spoil it by starting it now. If, if we, like, had the chance to continue right after the end, maybe. But since I have to click continue, no, we are not going to start it again. Next time, the next stream will be on Wednesday. 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, we are going to see what the post-game of this wonderful, brilliant, masterful game has to give us. Ugh. Both for the players and the partner, it would sting. It would be devastating. But yep, yep, when's the next p.m. stream? Like I said, Wednesday. Two days from now, well, I guess... Day after tomorrow, I should say. 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Wednesday. Same YouTube channel. Same Twitch time. Uh. But once again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have everything in my link tree. Linktr.ee slash NeonIcyWings. It has my edited content YouTube channel. My streaming channels. The VOD channel that I also stream to on YouTube. So you can experience this whole journey with me. Again, just on your own time. Links to my art can also be found through my link tree. I've been drawing decently, hitting a few bumps. I need to draw Lost Light more. Oh. And uh, links also in my link tree to uh, story resources. So if you want to read some stories I've written and will write, links can be found there. I have like... Two to three chapters of an 11 chapter P Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story done. And all the other chapters are planned out. I just need to write them. And of course, if you want to be super generous, link to my Patreon also in the link tree. It's a, it's a, a, a drop buff, it's a, a donation bucket basically if you want to be kind and throw some dollary dues my way. Can I just stare for a second? Yes, you can. No, just not doing good right now. Like, good vibes your way. I'm terribly sorry that we have gotten to the end of the stream right as you got here. I'm terribly sorry. But you can stay as long as you like here. Ah. I'm still not over the ending. It was just a punch to the heart. <laughs> Bleh. Ooh. I just, I just need time to decompress from all that because it's just like emotional whammy after emotional whammy again. 
I adore Rescue Team. It was my first Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, as was probably for a lot of people, honestly. But... The fact that... <laughs> not only do they plant the seed of the player character being gone poof near the end. Like, they plant it far sooner, I think, and make it, like, far more upfront. Like, yeah, you you're gonna go. And it's not like happy-go-lucky rescue team. We're like, oh, you're gonna go home. What happened? The emotional destruction that is the ending of a Pokemon mystery dungeon game. I frickin' cried. And was on borderline tearful the, uh, like, the entire way through the ending. Ah. Uh -huh. But yeah, again, happy-go-lucky rescue team, you're like, oh, you're going back home to the, the to, to be a human. Like, despite the fact that you were a human that, like, intentionally said, hey, wipe my memories, please, and turn me into a Pokemon so I can save the world. It's like, that also made me cry and tear up on my replay through. But it was far simpler, far more quote-unquote saccharine, I suppose. But this one, again, puts it out there, you are going to be erased from history. The time that you come from will cease to exist. And then you lose Grovile. He has a heroic sacrifice. Rescue Team didn't have that. Well, I guess technically you could say that you had this heroic sacrifice because uh, you technically die when Rayquaza blows up the meteor. But still, Grovile's hit so much harder. And then, therefore, you're going through the final dungeon the entire way, knowing at the end you're gonna gun go poof. And the fact that it's more isolated than Rescue Teams, because in Rescue Teams, you vanish in front of, like, all of the allies and friends you've made along the way. So it's, like, kind of interesting that way. Meanwhile, with this one, there was almost, like, an implied Silas was going to say, I couldn't go on if you disappeared. And that's why. The player character says, no, you have to live. It's just... And I also like that even though this game has an issue where it repeats concepts again and again, kind of Solid Snake style, of like, ah, I'm going to say the same thing again, that it didn't really do that at the end there. And if it did, it fit because of the emotional devastation begging. Uh. Uh -huh. Honestly, the idea of trying to come to terms of fading away is depressing. Exactly. Because it also recontextualizes everything that Dusknor did. Because, come to think of it, with Dusknoir, you don't really know why he's doing what he does. In the beginning, you think, oh, Dusknoir, he's just a good old guy. Uh, but then it turns out he's just another bastard, but you don't know why. He's just working for Dialga, who's like a monstrous primal monster. It doesn't really speak all that much, even though apparently Dusknoir kind of divines meaning from primal Dialga. But at the end, it lays out the, the motivation perfectly. He didn't want to die. So much that he was willing to... <laughs> willing to kill the player character, the partner in Grovile. To which, in a way, even though you were not aware, you were also willing to kill Dusk Noir and everyone else, and then yourself. To save the world. Literally had to put down my 3 yes during the credits. Feel better, and I'm sorry. No problem at all. No problem at all. You feel better. You'll get a special episode on that. Okay, okay, cool. More special episodes in the post-game. Booyah, yes please. But yeah, 
once again, I think this is my favorite Pokemon game. Not Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, Pokemon game in general. Because it has a lot of things that I desperately want out of Pokemon games. You play as the Pokemon. The characters are the Pokemon. The story is not at all what a Pokemon story you'd think would be. Because, like, you could transplant this story as an anime and put it out there with, like, human characters and it could still kind of work because nothing is inherently Pokemon. And that's what's cool. They still tie Pokemon things in, like the Lake Trio, guard lakes that hold time gears. Dialga lives at Temporal Tower and oversees the flow of time. It really hits on difficult topics. It does. I think some mainline Pokemon games do as well, like, kind of. Like, Legends Arceus, but they still don't really... I'm trying to think of the word. They don't soak in them. They mention them. They bring them up. They kind of have them there dangling in front of you. Here they lay it out. Just completely. Like, even Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team. The main characters were literally like, we accept that we are going to die. We came here, like, understanding that, but we have to do this to save the world. But this time, it was double-layered. Because Silas was going in, understanding that he could die try to, trying to save the world, and that if he failed, the world itself would basically die in a permanent, ongoing state of decay that never stops decaying. Just an, an eternal entropy. Meanwhile, the player character, the hero is going on understanding that they could die and fail, but no matter what, they would succeed and die anyway. And that build-up, like, the difference is the fact that Rescue Team was kind of uplifting. You're going back home. You get to say goodbye to everyone. Here, you know you're gonna die. You can't tell your friend because you need your friend to be strong and determined. And then, as you are fading away, your limbs grow heavy. Your head starts to hurt. And you're basically at the end of the world. And you're leaving your partner alone to drag himself back home to tell everyone what happened. It is... Brutal. Pokemon Company made three specials for the Mystery Dungeon games. I'm going to have to watch them at some point. I am heavily, like... My brain wants to use the word encouraged, even though that's not what it is, but... I may very well make, like, like reactions to them. V maybe, maybe. Like, heavily edited reactions to them, because I don't I don't like reaction channels. They're just like, I'm just sitting here, staring at it with mild commentary while it plays in its totality. No, with me, I would, like, edit out parts that I was not saying anything with, and I would pause and give commentary. I wouldn't live stream it, be for obvious reasons. God, maybe I should make, like, a reaction YouTube channel and do, like... But, oh, that's the problem, then. I would have to do editing. Ah, uh, who knows? Ah. Uh. But I definitely need to watch them at some time. Maybe I can make a review of them. I don't know. I am in pain. Yeah, three pilot episodes of anime. Never saw the live day. I don't think they were pilot episodes, per se. I would think that they were more just like promotional anime specials promoting the, uh, the, the games themselves, I would say. You saved the world after Equaza destroyed a meteor, but then after all that, you wish to return. Yep. Granted, again, like... You intentionally wiped your own memory when you went to the rescue team world. That's, I still don't understand that, but they're pretty short. Yeah, normal 20, 25 long episode minute times. The fact that there are specials fills you with determination. Yes, it does. We have episodes here that are playable, episodes out there that are, like, watchable. Uh, but once again, 
Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Everything that I do can be found through my link tree. But yes, thank you for joining me on this magical adventure. We are going to continue next time doing more. More Lost Light. See more of the characters. See whatever I have to say, because I want to be more emotionally devastated. <laughs> Sorry, probably not the end of the stream. Oh, you really didn't. Because I, I needed to decompress and, like, talk more about this game. Because this game deserves to be talked about so much more. <laughs> but, yep. Next time, we will continue. See more of what's happened. Everything. The post game will basically be a playable epilogue, and I love that. And I hope there's more, like... I hope there's more story to it. Because I will say this. Rescue Team... Some of the post-game was cool, with the stuff of Gengar and Gardevoir. I hope there's more post-game in this that's like that, where there's more story tied to the dungeons and not just, go here and fight a legendary. I want story. I want emotional devastation. And I, I think they learned their lesson, because so far this is just so good. But yes, I, I'm rambling. Once again, love this game. We'll be playing more. Thank you very much for joining me on this fantastic adventure. Once again, thank you to the Expanded Sky ROM hack creators. Link in the description. <sighs> be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, everyone, be kind. Thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>